I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. Howdy. Hello, Sharky. Hello, Cass. So, <laughs> Alone in the Dark 2008, huh? Yeah, good game as it turns out, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that was a surprise. I mean, I came into this with an open heart, open mind. So it, it's nice that it's turned out good. I did not expect this, uh, th this, this little let's play to become a uh, in memoriam uh, past a certain point. But here we are nonetheless. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel a little awkward continuing to play it, but we have to finish what we started. Uh, for those who aren't aware, James McCaffrey, voice of Max Payne, voice of Edward Carnby in this game, so... <sighs> yep. <laughs> so we just gotta keep on trucking, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, rest in peace, uh, you know... I know he was an actor as well, but great voice actor. Like, I grew up with Max Payne, and, you know, I, I thought it was, like, honestly, one of my favorite voices of a character, I think, in video games. Um, and I think, to be clear, for the rest of the night, any jokes we aim at Edward Carnby are jokes aimed at Edward Carnby. <laughs> yeah, like, because let, let's be real here. This game has some goofy-ass writing in it. Some uh, goofy-ass, yeah. <laughs> uh, some inspired line reads, we'll call them now, to, to be nice about it, but, you know, he, he sells this character. He sells this goofy, schlock character best he can. And, uh, yeah, without too much more ado, let's hop into it. I still gotta do the thing where I shuffle around sources and make sure the game actually goes out to people. So, uh, you know, bear with me during that. Oh, also, I want to take this opportunity at the top of the show to point out that uh, we skipped Saturday. We, we skipped last Saturday's stream uh, because I'm currently trying to quit smoking, and it's going well enough. I, I've, I've been resisting the urge well enough. I was just a little on edge on that particular day, uh, so I didn't necessarily feel like doing the show then. Uh, but what we were going to stream was going to be an adver game stream. We we're going to do this this whole compilation yeah. of just different games that were made to advertise certain companies and, and so forth. And it was going to be a fun little stream until I had to cancel it. Uh, then the next day, Austin Eruption, who is a YouTuber we both uh, quite enjoy, puts out a video covering adver games and covers like a lot of the deep cuts that I was going to cover. And I just wish so badly now that we've been able to stream on Saturday so we could have accused him of, of plagiarizing yeah. us, of putting this whole video together, this whole immaculately edited video. Uh, last night, well, after watching our stream, he put together this 40 minute epic, just stealing all our ideas. It, but, it's uh, weird, <laughs> it's weird, like two weeks ago, we were gonna stream something about bad remakes, we decided not to do it, and then Austin made a streak video the next day and a month ago we were going to do a stream about forgotten weird psp games and we didn't do it and the next day austin did a video on forgotten ps weird psp games cass i think you're feeding information to austin they can't about when we don't keep stream. getting away with this a lot of trouble to get you and that stone together theo you'll be our light bringer crowley is the one behind this chaos he made me just, this is just a little bit of catch up for folk who uh you know might be joining now three episodes in lucis and to bring is pharaoh so Lightbringer is actually Lucifer. I know I've done fucked up things in the past. I can feel it. Something to do with the stone. Meet me at the museum, Edward. Room 943. I'm looking for... All these scenes are out of order. Room I'm just recognizing now. Go down one level and through an underground tunnel. Use the forklift. It'll go faster. Everything is... This is a forklift, right? Around here. <laughs> 
around when you come this to my understanding for you there will be no mercy I do remember this fight Sarah the Crux is saying, you know what, more games should have TV show-ass last time on video game things. Yeah, it was kind of a big thing with this game, was uh, presenting it like a DVD. You know, complete to the point where you can just pick any episode at any point. Oh, we gotta listen up now. A lonely place. Feels like Theo. I really hoped he would be here, waiting for us. Take a look at this. There's writing. Theo, my pupil, and I. 1936. You haven't changed. Barely. But Theo's dead and it leads me nowhere. Hey, what the hell? Don't well, that's unfortunate. I oh, mean, just to answer uh, Sarah's question before they leave, uh, this is not Inferno, this is the PC version, which is based on the 360 version. Yeah, but the only one we can pick version. on Twitch, the only one that lets us pick on Twitch is... Uh... To, to match Inferno, this yeah. game is Inferno. This is what the so I was kind of expecting to do more here, or oh, I guess maybe we're going this way now. And... I was kind of expecting to see that guy who uh, fast traveled here. <laughs> he said he'd meet us here. Can you come closer? I think there was supposed to be like someone passing passing behind her, but could you go check it out? Oh no, it's those parasites again. <laughs> I'm I'm just not sure what they want me to do here. I'm listening intently. I just oh maybe oh you know what <laughs> maybe stand on the ink on the red X. Yeah, I was just trying to yep. figure out how to close my eyes. X. Another tooltip pops up. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh. Okay. Something here? What are you trying to tell me? Close your eyes again. He's just doing like a shrug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that fire, honestly. Uh, that kind of fucked up my plans. Can you interact with the no the one piece of paper that's flapping around? I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying my darndest here. I think we're about to run out of battery, so let's pop a, a fresh one in. Much better. Oh, there we go. Here it's written, Sarah. Me? Oh no, no! Tell me it's a coincidence. I mean, there are, are a lot of from women named Sarah in the world, so ultimately, it's very likely it's just coincidence. Or you were born in 1900, one or the <laughs> other. Okay. Man, our friend had bad taste in music, I gotta tell you what. I want you to... Knock, knock, who's there? Is this turning into that skit from, like, wrongfully accused where he has to come up with a big name? <laughs> Him. Down. Sarah, I want you to... Sarah, I want you to knock him down. Thanks, Theo. Sounds like you're gonna have to kick my ass. <laughs> But I don't want to hurt you. I, I could. I know it sounds absurd, but hey, you dream of it. But I like it. Okay, let's do it, Sarah. Not an option. <sighs> All right. Before, I, I wanted to tell you that. You don't hate me that much. That's it. Okay. Give me that thing here. I'll stay next to you. <laughs> you know, he did say down, not out. You could have just shoved him. <laughs> I mean, she's taking advantage of this opportunity, truly. 
I died to join you here because this war is raging on every plane of existence. The stone you're carrying offered men fortune and eternal life. They called it the Philosopher's Stone, but they were fooled. When Lucifer was deposed from heaven and forced to live among men as a mortal, he designed an artifact that would carry his soul through time, waiting for the right moment to take his revenge. Lucifer was trapped in his own creation, but I have released him. Now he's searching for the stone because it can recast his fate as well as ours. Well, that was a stupid thing to do, freeing Lucifer. Central Park hides secrets you shall exhume. Give him a chance. <laughs> but one of them can save us. Now wake up and close your eyes. I think Lucifer's learned his lesson. Something happened. Uh, you said something about eyes. Close my eyes. Dude, you gave me a fucking concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Beta tester? No, beta tetra? Be beta tet- yeah. yeah. So I get that I'm supposed to look at this. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm going in. Close it behind me if I'm not out in 30 minutes. Come in and kick my ass again. What's up, dude? See ya. My God, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> this is a present from me to you. Thank you for the for putting out a gift sub out there. She she was astounded one moment. Now she's offended. I'm flashing a flashlight in her face. Yes. I figure I keep telling people to sub, I might as well, like, pony up at some point. Be the change you want to be, you see, in the world? Yeah. yeah. It's also the Christmas season. <laughs> we do have an idea for Christmas, for, for Saturday, this Saturday, coming up. Hey, look at this. Okay, let's see this. Alright, let's read this. The old castle was called the Eye of Central Park by the Templars. Does he mean Templars? I think he... You know what? No, Templars is uh, a local <laughs> soccer team. <laughs> I was going to say, there's real big fans of Temple of Doom. They call themselves Templars. No oh, relation yeah, yeah. to the Templars. <laughs> it's just... I guess the lens must be placed up there to point to the key's location, but I don't have the time to be sure. It could be anywhere under our feet, waiting for centuries in the darkness of the underground. But something is coming. I feel it. Hello, Edward, my old friend, my mentor. If you read this, it means I've dragged you back from the curse of the stone. Seventy years ago, you took me as your pupil. I was a young offender then, but you saved me by giving me faith in esoteric mysteries. That's what we all need in our lives, someone to give us faith in esoteric mysteries and to steer us on the right path, uh, away from the wrong one. When you found the stone and began your research, you realized my fascination for it and understood the evil that was trapped inside. So one day, you disappeared to Europe with the stone. Thanks to the medallion, Time had no effect on you for 70 years, but in return, it deeply corrupted you. I felt betrayed when you left. Now I'm grateful. Our fate is in your hands, my friend. The poem, one year before. I found this poem in the circular room. The hands of Venus will shape the lock to this door, while Mars will fight to bring the key back to the core. Not a great poem, not particularly. I'm not really feeling inspired or really it, much of anything. It any makes more sense. It makes more sense in the original Japanese. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's a surprise. The carrier is not meant to follow the path of light alone, but it sounds coherent with the principles of alchemy. Mars and Venus, a man and a woman, the completion of two, finally making one, the strength of humanity. I just don't know who this Venus will be. I might have a sneaking suspicion. 
The lens must be enlightened. It is so simple. Any beam of light projected through the lens has the power to open the path of light's door. Light is the fuel. Everything those Templars built was centered on light as a physical force. They found a way to channel it like a fluid. This is the source of their power and their incredible science. It seems that the door to the room works on the same principle. All right, you got all that? Does that all make, make sense to you? Find you a man that loves you as much as a game developer loves putting alchemy into their plot lines. <laughs> Venus will shape the lock to this door, while Mars will fight to bring the key back to the core. Yeah, I can't make heads or tails of it either. Oh my god, to pick up this ring, I need to drop some <laughs> items. You know, you have fingers, Carnby. <laughs> All right, what are we dropping, I guess? <laughs> there are specialty things designed just for holding rings. Uh, what are we dropping? What's the thing on? No, oh, you need a lighter. You need the ammo. You need. Fuck. Uh. I can't even drop the lighter if I wanted to. Yeah, you to. can't. Couldn't drop the lighter. I guess I'm dropping bandages. I'm assuming we'll get more later. Yeah. Right. Yeah, bandages seem like easier to get. Can you hold the? Can you hold this for me, lady? Can you carry I'm, my bandages? I'm sorry. Could you look in your inventory? I want to see that ring take up that entire space. It's a lens, not a ring. I'll oh, okay. Know. But I feel like we could still put that in like a pocket or something, you know? It's <laughs> yeah, wasteful. Those are some like extremely tight jeans he's wearing. Like nothing's getting in. Are we are we bouncing? Are we are we sticking around or? Good close up of Carnby here. Alone in the dark. Oh no, he's not alone. Never mind. Got one. Can like I... her, I have no object permanence. If I don't see her, I don't know she's there. I don't know who I'm talking about. Wait. What do I need to shine this light on? I would assume something that is the exact same shape. Presumably. I'll just shine it on every single symbol would, here until something works. Would it be easier to not have that up so you could just, like, use the normal flashlight to see what the shapes look like? I mean... Not particularly. Yeah, it would help if I knew, like, what any of these symbols meant. What they, like, refer to. What they represent. Oh, I'm or... saying... Okay, look at the poem again. The camera loves shifting here. The hands of Venus hands of will shape the lock to this door, while Maybe. Mars will fight to bring the key back to the core. A. Hands of Venus. Tried blinking just to see if anything would happen. <laughs> Is this doing okay. anything, lady? <laughs> <laughs> So we read all the stuff. I, I was reading it. I was genuinely well, reading okay. it. Okay, so I guess you might be looking for a the, the female and male symbols, you know, the, the hand mirror and the... See, up? Up to your right, there's... I see Mars' symbol. That's Mars' symbol? I think. I, think. I can't tell because you have a funky fit lens on it. <sighs> like these? Is that easier for you to see? That, well, that's not quite Mars symbol. That's more like a rotated... Mm. But you know what I'm talking about, right? The hand mirror and the the arrow. No. I have, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about when you mention those things. Genuinely, I am not versed in any of this shit at all. Which I feel like is, really? is ha hampering my ability to uh, to potentially hey, solve know, this. <laughs> you know the like general symbol for male and female, right? circle yeah the... but that's not what these are is it that's not what that is i couldn't tell from the when it was like that and you were kind of at a distance it looked like the the male symbol <laughs> maybe just look this one up for me if you don't mind <laughs> maybe let's let's not spend yeah, the entirety I, of this how do i even exist po posted what the symbols are in chat <laughs> yeah those symbols i know those symbols i had no idea it meant yeah. mars and venus i thought it was just you know <laughs> uh okay 
alone in the dark <laughs> Venus Mars. Banger of a start to this episode. <laughs> Uh, Venus and Mars by Paul McCartney and Wings. Wait. Up, oh, found it. Now I understand. Here's my part in all this. I have to build the lock to that door. This is what I was meant to do, what? right? Right. I'm heading to. You're the inferring a lot. Build this lock, and maybe we'll see the end of this soon. Trust me. And take care. Yeah, you know, they were tricking me because I was just like, hang around in this room. Maybe it's one of these symbols. Maybe I see just oh. hold on it for a while was what I was thinking. But but ultimately, it, it was the symbol outside of this room. And the fact that she was like staying in place was, was not helping me either. But what can you do? Anything cool around here? Anything... Hidden behind these pillars, doesn't look like so. Well, I guess we're not going back that way anytime soon. Uh-oh. I see a forklift. I think the time has come for us to learn the forklift controls. Alright. Home and end for up and down, I believe. Move the forks up and down. <laughs> Fork controls. Yeah, plug in your fork controller. All right, let's let's practice. Page up, page down. No, home. Yeah, home and end. <laughs> oh, the Carmageddon section. <laughs> now, if we hit a hundred more, we'll win the race. When you play Carmageddon, do you actually try to win the races, or do you just go for the kills? Oh, you have to try to win the races. At least Carmageddon 64. Yeah, I feel like going for the kills is a fool's errand. Oh. Physics on this uh, forklift are... Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> let's, let's raise it up a little bit. You know, this works just oh. as well as, as uh, setting them on fire, is just running them over with a forklift. I mean, forklifts contain the element of fire in them. I'm assuming we need to keep the forklift. I'm assuming there's going to be more forklift <laughs> puzzles down the way. I hope there aren't, but you can just take this through the rest of the game. <laughs> forklift this open. Not quite. Imagine if that was the one use for the forklift, that we've already expended its usefulness. They're like, yeah, we I, really wanted to put a forklift know, in the game. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Uh, wait. No, I think we... forkliftable. That thing is not going to leave you alone. That's all right. Let them have their fun. You're, you're good at dodging them, though. Thank you. I am forklift certified. All right, I don't think we can take this with us now because it's single-handedly yeah. keeping this up. I think this is where we have to say goodbye to the forklift. Do you think anyone's ever gotten forklift certified as a joke? It's just, just just for the bits. Yeah. Surely. Uh, wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Gotta get my gun out. Hold on, I'm gonna examine you very closely. I think I picked the wrong one. I wanted to set fire bullets. <laughs> oh yeah, we're back, baby. Do me a favor, can you just die? Do I have to... have to give up on these fire bullets. Let's try a, a burning sledgehammer. A burning hammer for wrestling aficionados out there. Oh, no. Oh, uh, well. It took it away from me. Listen, Carnby's a safe worker. He's not gonna... He's not gonna, like, ruin someone's career for a burning hammer. Oh, 
I don't think these bullets are on fire. Yes, I, I can keep... tell they're not on fire. Oh, I don't have any... You know why it is? I don't have any flammable materials on me. That's a problem. Well, you have a big old pit of flammable right next to you. It's not going to help with the bullets, but it's going to help kill this thing. Let's take care of that first. I have to knock his ass out first, and then I can set it on fire. There you go. Now just slowly walk to the fire. Carnby can't run, so... God damn these controls sometimes, I tell you what. I'm waiting for him to get up and ask, can I help you with this? This is taking a while. Like, I'm all for speeding this thing along. It's... Hope I don't burn my little thingies on this and before I... <laughs> well, that works. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Let's see if we can get back in this now, because we activated something there that I guess is, yes. is holding this up. Yeah, I figured that you had to bring it up that forklift size ramp. Don't text while uh, forklifting, folks. Don't don't follow Barnby's example here. Being involved in the museum's life has finally paid off. Last night, I found a hidden door deep inside Room 943's foundations. I knew it. The first investors in this museum were the same investors as for Central Park. But the door remains tightly sealed for the moment. I think we took care of that. That's strange. It's the first time I haven't thought about Madeline. Madeline? Madeline? Madeline. Madeline, thank Madeline. you. I think of a life to save instead. Edwards. Oh, what's that in there? an item? Something we can pick up in there? Probably not. Yeah, you know, what kind of museum doesn't have, like, a room like this? A series of rooms like this? If Angel of Darkness taught us anything... Oh, don't mind if I do. Can't take that with us right now, unfortunately. But I think we finally have some, uh... Can we pour this on our bullets? Yeah, pretty sure. Just pour some booze on your bullets. That makes them flammable, that, that, to my understanding. Drink, drink up, gun. Mm, my Glock is thirsty. Mm. <laughs> look, look, look. Yum, yum, yum. Edward is just completely lost at this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I see where this puzzle is going. But, uh, doesn't mean I have to like the way it's going. Can I hit that from here? Sure can. Good. So at the very least, we don't have to deal with a bunch of these things spitting on us. We're trying to solve this puzzle here. Sounds like there's one behind you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. Are there any other spawners I have to worry about? Get your aim together. Okay. So do you think we have to drop a bunch of crates on this? Is that why these are stacked over here? Or do we mercifully get to skip that part and we just climb up this? Uh, I think you can climb up it, but you're going to need the forklift on the other side. And you, you're making a bridge for yourself. Yeah, that's yep. where we need to be. Okay, so how do we get up there? Up? I assumed you were, like, literally going to make a bridge with those crates. <laughs> Drive across it. Maybe not. No, they, they pointed to a mechanism up there. 
Oh, you know what? Okay. I get it. Yep, me too. <laughs> no, I wanted to go down, but that's okay too. You know, last episode I was really digging what the what the game was uh, picking up, but now we're back to puzzle solving, and it's just like the most tedious kind of puzzles. It's the most tortured kind of puzzles, where it's like they should just give me credit for knowing what the solution is and have a button to be like, "You figured it out, right?" Okay, now just press this button to make all the stuff happen. You know, oddly enough, um, this is the most popular part of the game in Germany. <laughs> I tried to take two at once. The game was not going to let me get away with that. All right, good enough. Good enough, yeah. <laughs> it's just, I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at how uh, bad Carnby is at this. <laughs> Which, to be fair, why should he be good at this? He's not certified. Oh, He's just oh going God. wild with it. Whoa! <laughs> Case in point. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I think the ladder was around there. Hopefully this is good enough. Hopefully I can just climb up these. <laughs> yeah? Don't tell me I actually need to line these up better. Oh, oh, wait. There you go. You know what? Less painful than uh, Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness would have done it. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Compared to that, this is, like, easy breezy. And there we go. You know, I do like... We're going back to complimenting this game. They did not need to put all this stuff here to show the mechanisms of how it works. Usually a game will just put that stuff off screen. But you, you could probably route the mechanisms which make the thing at the bottom work through here. That's attention to detail. Well, in my head, it's, it's just like, you know, put a bunch of gears there and yeah, figure it out. But still, it's more than other something else where it just would have been a switch. I realized I probably could have checked out up there, too. Is it too late? No? Okay. This is going to be completely pointless. There's not going to be anything up here. <laughs> yep. You're right, you're right. You know, I should have known this uh, forklift section was going to be a big deal from the uh, the, the uh, extended forklift, se uh, forklift section in the original 1992 Alone in the Dark. You know, the ambition was always, this was always the end goal, you see. They just didn't have the technology back in the DOS days to, uh, to fully do the, the forklift sequence justice. Goodbye, forklift. I'll never forget you. you. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. It ended its journey doing what it loved. Forkin. <laughs> Forkin. All right. Now I've learned lessons about elevators since we started playing Red Steel. If I just stand to the side here, then I won't be facing the wrong way. Oh no, we need to get the forklift up here again to hold that garage door open. <laughs> oh, Forklift would have loved this view. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! Bad time! One little phrase and I can pull you out of there. No, cut the dramatic bullshit, Crowley. What do you want? The stone card, me. Just tell me you'll give it to me. Or must I be content with watching you dissolve into that black film? You have ten seconds. Fuck off. Let me give you something to think about. All right, this is a, this is a good way to 
do this. I would say the better way to do it would be in third person. So you can actually see where the spotlight is. Yeah, probably. Okay, I see what they're doing here. Oh, I just didn't have enough time to, to acclimate to controls here. M merciful checkpointing, at the very least. Okay. So, to be clear, we're following the, the spotlight, the searchlight that the, uh... That uh, Crowley is so kindly laying down for us. He is toying with us, but... Complete my physical challenge, Carnby. <laughs> Do you think there's a, something we need to be looking for in the environment here? Like, we need to, uh... Climb onto something that he's going to inadvertently lead us to our escape, or is this just a sequence about keeping up with it for as long as possible? Keep up with it for as long as possible, and either something is going to present itself to you as being a way out, or uh, he's going to be like, had enough? This is easier to do in first person, as it turns out. Stock Puppet Kingdom Master. Why oh, did they even mind. attempt this Edward Car this Ed this <clears throat> sorry. Why did they even attempt the this Edward is actually the original Edward from the Dawson Trilogy time travel twist when they didn't even attempt to make him a single character? I don't think he time traveled. I think they kind of explicitly laid out that he got the stone sometime in like the nineteen thirties forties. Thirties or forties. And it has made him immortal but also kinda of corrupted him. And also yeah. at some point he lost his memory. But yeah, I don't think it's his time travel. I think it's just he's a mortal. He is an immortal. Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, this section stinks. <laughs> Are we going to end this stream with, uh, you know what? This game sucks. No, no, and no. We're just going to alternate. Every, every <laughs> even numbered stream is it's going to be a good game. <laughs> but every odd numbered, it's, it's the worst thing we've played yet. No, I, I don't think so. I think I'm... I'm at the point where I'm willing to be like, I at least see the ambition, I see the idea they had for a section like this, and how they could make it wrought with tension, but the execution is obviously suboptimal. Having a nice walk in the park, and so obedient, my dog could take lessons from you. Son of a bitch, I'll... Fine, you win! Lower the fucking rope already! I'm tired of chasing you, Carnby. You should have been dead long ago! Sorry, punctuality is one of my strengths. Give it to me! Please! Not so fast, I want some answers! Well... Hey, he asked nice! With me, boy. If the stone is cursed, why do you want it? What about the path of life? The stone deserves better than that ridiculous prophecy. Happy endings are for fools! To hell with mankind! I was born to carry that stone! The rest is no concern of yours! <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but sure. So, so the physics, physics couldn't quite keep up with that, but, you know, admirable effort nonetheless. <laughs> Tried. Thank you for flying Air Carnby. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, you, you love this section at the start of the game, right? <laughs> no, I think the word you're looking for is loathe. <laughs> oh. I don't think I can climb any higher than this because of the, the burst uh, gas vein there. I can't circumvent, circumnavigate it either is, is the problem. Can I jump around it? You could have a lot of fun, though. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I know what I need to do. 
Well, not that. <laughs> it does not get hit with a rock. But I need to uh, ignite that, right? Uh, I mean that's I'm guessing not. But do I have anything else I can burn? Well, I'll do a burning bullet for now. Yeah, I don't think that's. Well, I mean, you've made a bad situation worse. There's gotta be something to do with that, though. I can climb through when it's burning. What were you? What would you? What would the game have you do if you didn't have any materials on you to, you know, to, to, to light your this. bullets? Which makes me feel like there's got to be some other solution that's here, because at the very least, this game, like, gives you the solution to a problem if there's a problem in front of you. No, I think we're there. I, I think this is it. I think we're up against the clock here, but we are otherwise ultimately doing the right thing. Well, I couldn't even dodge that one if I wanted to. Somehow this is good, actually, for us. Yeah. Uh, how do I let go of this again? <laughs> Print screen. <laughs> of course. Who was that yelling Mr. Carnby? I think that was the pilot of the helicopter. Which, uh, sorry, bud. <laughs> That's, it's a text message from Crowley. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Well, that didn't go quite according to plan, but would you consider, please, giving me the stone, actually? <laughs> I feel like we got off on the wrong foot here. Uh... I'm fine, I'm fine. Man, Carnby cannot pick up a win right now. Might want to grab that thing. Alright, is that lens now just stuck in your inventory forever? Well, I would love to check, but... Hold on. Have to get back up. Back on the horse. I need to shoot that thing first. Yeah. How are you still alive? There we go. Public transportation, am I right? Shit, I had to reload. <laughs> I have a feeling this thing is going to break if we keep falling down here, yes. but... <laughs> Surely that'll be the end of the parasites. Puppet Kingdom saying, love the hole in this jacket clearly being a skin texture slapped on like a patch. That would be good, like, if anyone was inclined to do Edward Carnby cosplay, like, that would be good to get, like, a leather jacket and jeans and stuff, and, like, apply patches on top of it that look like skin, which is A, gross, but B, accurate. I think you just more get, like, curious looks from people being like, the 2008 Alone in the Dark? Really? That's the one you're... Yeah. <laughs> What can I say? I watched a stream. It seemed okay. You're going. Just get in here. That's Sarah? No, there's some rando. I guess that's one way to avoid them. They're not going to let me grab onto anything. I'm not going to be able to get a hold of anything. I 
I feel like I'm probably not supposed to fight these guys either. Or maybe I am, because they have this section here. Now I wonder... I was going to try to shoot burning bullets. I was going to hope the bullets could keep catch on to the fire there, and then maybe... I don't think this is Legend of Zelda. I guess I'm funneling them all into one... One spot, then. Oh, they might even leave me alone here. Maybe I can just wait this out. For what, old age? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're not getting any older. Now That's we're true. really not getting any older. <laughs> no. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. We should probably... Yeah. Tim Ross says, do you think there's someone out there who has... Uh, Alone the Dark 2008 is their favorite game. I have heard people always say, you know, statistically, this is somebody's favorite game, and I don't believe that. Just we have little faith. When anyone ever says, like, this has to be someone's favorite game, no, it doesn't. Now, that being said, um, for this game, possibly. Yeah, someone might have like the ambition of this. I mean, I'm certainly yes. digging on the ambition of it. Like we saw apparently there are people who thought, you know, uh, Angel of Darkness was their the best Tomb Raider game, so, you know. So people can be wrong about that. They can be wrong about anything. It's... <laughs> I know I could have just lit something on fire and dealt with it that way, but... Or you know what? Maybe does, I, I'm going to have to do that at a certain point. I mean, fire bullets does seem like the best option. It's certainly in general. The, the most, like, easy. You don't have great control. Like, you can't, like, if... juke and dodge in this. Okay, if this baseball bat can't get us, thank God. Hey, bad, bad, bad. Oh no. Whoops. Well played. You, you try to engage the game on its own terms. You try to play it the way that you think it wants to be played. Then it's just like, no. Ultimately, what works? Set your bullets on fire. Pour some liquor on them. Now, Peter King King, I did not say... To be fair, I didn't say, I don't think this is anyone's favorite game. I said, it's totally possible this could be someone's favorite game. I just don't think the, the phrase, you know, when you look at any bad game and say, you know, statistically, this has to be someone's favorite game out there. It's like, I don't think that's true. I think we're out of ammo. Like, uh, oh, too bad we had to throw away every bandage <laughs> earlier. But just for an example on the top of my head, uh... I don't think anyone's going to remember Excalibur 2555 AD and go like, you know, that's my favorite game. The Lone Soldier, on the other hand, their other game, Tempest. Where the hell do you think you're going? Just get in here. Is, is Tempest uh, a theme at some point? Did they? How many games did they put out? Uh, the grand total of three. So, oh. you know, <laughs> it's short stream, I guess. Short stream night, yeah. We persevered. Misses from Crowley. Watch out for that. I mean, it could just drop us right now if it was, if it wanted to. Listen, this tentacle thing is cool and all, but I'm bleeding to death. So if we could hurry this up, let's try a third-person camera. See if this points to anything. Nothing yet. Teeth. I love that ad. Wait, I'm sorry, I know we're bleeding to death, but look at that ad. Teeth. <laughs> Eyeball. X. S Sunglasses. Have you considered teeth? Have you considered Eden's yummies? If you have teeth, you're gonna like it. Uh, man, I want some Eden's yummies, but like, I just can't like 
make food go soft in my mouth. I oh. look up teeth. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> Alright. I'm picking up what they're I, laying down. I have to assume you're like me, in that if you see ads in a game, you gotta see what they're selling. Oh, of course, no. We gotta get over to the other one. Amaze that worked. Into the belly of the okay. beast, or whatever orifice this is meant to be. Too bad we had to throw away all of our bandages. I don't know, maybe there'll be some bandages in here. Do you think they store bandages in here? Yeah, this looks like, you know... I mean, with, with all this flesh around, you know, there's gonna be boo-boos from, from time to time. It's... Oh, yeah. I mean, I have a really bad feeling about this, but maybe it'll be a funny death animation. No? Okay. I really thought and hoped that was gonna bite down on me, but oh my god, oh, they've been dead. blowing up my phone. Oh my god, this this ladies keep going through these diaries. All right, let me speed read these. Door to the afterlife, surely symbolic. I hope so. All sources are merging into a sort of prophecy. Potentialities are fading away. Only one road remains, leading to a black hole. Well, that doesn't sound ideal. This is an older entry. I've opened the door. I'm amazed by this technology. They have learned how to use some sort of primal energy. Bah, the new circular room seems to be an antechamber to something important, but a piece is still missing. It looks like a lot. I've managed to build the alchemist lens. It took me 50 hours of hard work and help from a craftsman to get it right, but it seems perfect. If only Edward was here. In about Central Park. This is just going to be a tourism brochure that she... <sighs> Apparently the alchemists were behind the creation of Central Park back in 1858. News to me. It seems they've been there since the beginning of the 16th century. By creating the park, they protected the land from any other development. Theo didn't know exactly what they were protecting, but I think you'll know it soon enough. So, you know, any New Yorkers, uh, sound off in the chat if you didn't know. If you're, uh, how old were you, how many years old were you when you discover that the alchemists are responsible for Central Park? Now, I saw all those messages coming from Sarah. I just kind of assumed she was, like, one of those people who, like, sends text messages, but there's at least one sense at a time, and then send, and then another sense, and send the next text message. Well, no bandages in there. No, oh, we actually have to go on the hunt for the, the car keys in this one. Yeah, look up there. It's nothing. We can hotwire it. Oh, well, there you go. Something that Carnby knows how to do, being a, uh, you know, 100 years old. Oh, now, okay, now I'm more willing to give him credit if he's, like, just been, been alive this whole time, yeah. Yeah. How far away do they need to be before? We're on a sort of a timer here, Edward. Yeah. Let's... Wait, the, the problem is you're switching both of the wires. Does it have to be some... Like, it can be a mix, so it's easier just to like switch one wire, check just one wire. You know wire, what's check, it's actually easier to do off. is to 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 not bleed out trying to figure that out, and let's let's find another car that maybe has bandages in it. That that's my solution to this right now. <laughs> Alley oop. surprised you made that jump. <laughs> I figured the game wanted you to, like, ramp it. Yo, Carnby, hit up that big-ass ramp. I need to play that game someday. 50 Cent Blood on the, uh, no, I'm sorry. Blood on the Sand, yeah. Yes. Not Bulletproof. But maybe I also I'll play that game someday. <laughs> I played the, I played the PSP version of Bulletproof. G-Unit Edition? Yeah, which is weird and not the same game <laughs> at all oh my god it's gonna be like are all cars from here on out gonna be missing their keys well mercifully all 
All right, here's my guess. If we go towards the, the anomaly there, the static anomaly, maybe there'll be, like, it'll be in a place that has healing items in it. Possibly. The best I can do right now. Or we'll have one of these things on. We really don't have much choice. Well, hey, there's your uh, thingy to destroy. Too bad I got destroyed first. Yep. Well, now we see what happens when you come back after. Oh, hey, it healed our wounds. You're... Yeah. And we spawned so that's inside the way to of this do place. It. All right, so. Just, just keep progressing and wait until you bleed out. Man, that really... I guess we really don't need bandages then, ultimately, right? <laughs> oh, wait. It was you a need temporary. Bandages. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a oh, temporary I fix. The second we took damage, it put the indicator okay. back up. But it started back at seven minutes, so... Yeah. I will I'll say, you need bandages to make Molotovs. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you, you wanted to check earlier. Are we just carrying around that lens forever now? And the answer yeah. is yes, because we can't drop it. All right, so... Um, we're going to have to make a decision about... What? <laughs> what is worth carrying through the rest of the game? I'm going to drop the double-sided tape at a certain point. That, that's probably what we should have dropped earlier. You know, benefit of hindsight. All right, now, if I remember correctly... Flaming bullets are not enough, especially for one as big as that. We're gonna have to find something else to uh, to burn it with. I mean, if you wanna use up some of your uh... oh, that actually worked. There you go. It, a bit of a delayed reaction on its yeah. end. That should count for four. That was a big one. It actually did count for multiple. There is a system there where it's not just like a hundred that we need to find as a flat number of these things out in the world. They each uh, count for a different value. Can I get into the announcer's booth? No, fake doors. There's gotta be like a bathroom there or something, right? Put the first aid kit in. Or some toilet paper at least. <laughs> it's something, anything. As long as we keep making progress, we'll always have another seven minutes to get to the next checkpoint. That's true. We could play the game that way. Just perpetually, like, bleeding to death. Or we could find something that, uh, relieves this pain. Well, you're assuming that we'll ever find bandages again. Yeah, you know... Yeah, that's me being an optimist, I suppose. Alright, I've given up on this place. Where the bandages in the game was like, oh, you don't want bandages? All right, well, fine. fine. Oh, Evey. Go rummaging through trash, why don't I? Oh, water. A, a singular battery. Uh, that bottle's exploded. I can't grab that battery. What? No, it's not the battery. You're trying to pick up a rag on the ground. Yeah, but I was looking at the battery. Let's look at the map. That, that's probably something we could do. See, there's more static on the map. Boy, howdy, there sure is. Yeah. And an old castle. That's a lot of static on the map. Yep. Well, I am bleeding to death, but I think I have some side quests. I'm, I'm, what I'm hoping is that the side quests are near, like, points of interest on the map, where they might potentially put a healing item or two. That That is the hope I am holding on to here. Yep, all right. Next one's over at the Christian Scientist Outpost. <laughs> Next one's at Bandages or Us? Well, that's convenient. Oh, they sh went bankrupt years ago. Shit. <laughs> Please just have the keys up here. Ugh. 
All right, I think we're gonna have to learn how to hotwire cars with three minutes on the clock. Okay. No. Yes. Sir. Yep, you're doing correctly. And once you cycle through all of them, then you go to the next one on one hand. It's like hot wiring a real car. I feel like it should be really obvious if there's a spark between the two. Yeah, you would think so. What, what isn't obvious is what distance away from each other they need to be before you can swap them out. What if it's like, huh, well, it turns out that this car's battery's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think you're good to switch to the next one. I did every combination of wire there already. That was everything. Oh, this car battery's dead. <laughs> <laughs> there is a car over there but let's check if you see any sort of building on the horizon anyone at all uh in this fog and with this uh brightness level not really oh wait that's a building? As close as we're going to find. I didn't know we were getting into a survival game, but they really put the survival in survival horror with this one, I tell you what. Good news is you're about to get an extra seven minutes. <laughs> huh. This isn't the way we came, is it? I don't think so. Okay, we have enough time to check the cars that are right near us, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in this building. Alright. I'm putting all my faith, all my hope in this car. Yes, yes, I know I'm dying. I don't need an audio alert to inform me that I'm dying right now. This is totally hey, the way. Hey, listen! Hey, listen! I see a car wreck over there. That could be good news for us. Is that an ambulance? Or just a delivery truck? Now remember, you don't have room in your inventory right now to pick anything up on your left-hand side. That is not an ambulance. That is an ambulance. Blood! Not... Wait, no. Wait. There's gotta be bandages somewhere here. No, Carvey, no! Carvey! <laughs> Carvey! <laughs> I put seven minutes on the clock. Well, at least we burnt the thing in the center. At least it recognizes us as having done that, so, uh... <laughs> and now we can move on to the next thing. See? Problem solved itself. I feel like I saw bandages on the ground, but you just kept picking all the blood ones. I couldn't sort through them in time. I was trying to get them to highlight what I thought was the bandage in that lot, too. But the problem is that the proximity of the other items ensured that yeah, I would never get the item I wanted. <laughs> let me give you some advice. Right now, while we're still, like, not bleeding out, go into your inventory and just drop the two-sided tape. That was a good idea. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pay attention here. Uh, uh. It, it's something. It's turning the lights on in the car. I think that's not correct. Wait, oh, you switched both of them again.
Okay, that's different than every other time we've done it. I wonder if you're bleeding out, if that somehow supersedes your ability to do that, to hotwire the car successfully. Oh, Would... taxi. Yeah. Now, I'm hoping the taxi... They, we've been told the taxi has good items in it, so... Folks, thank you for bearing with us on this. <laughs> it has a singular first aid spray. I mean, that's good. I mean, that's something. All right, let me let me practice what I've learned here. All right. Try yellow and yellow. That's the horn. So I'm noticing that we are getting different, like, reactions to all this stuff. Yeah. None okay. of this shit was popping up in any of the other, other cars we were in. Yeah. So I really do wonder now if... Being in that injured state, the game's like, no, you shouldn't be messing around trying to hotwire a car right now. You should just be looking for a bandage. And to that end, we're going to prevent you from. Why are from you trying to get? Why are you trying to get places in a hurry? You're bleeding out. <laughs> I think I'm going the right way. There's, I think the the it, orange tip on the compass in the top right corner is supposed to be north. Well, the the. Yes. I mean, where do you want to head to right now? Do you want to head to burn stuff, or do you want to head to... I want to burn the objectives? stuff. Okay. I want to burn baby burn. Maybe we'll get an insight. Maybe if we level up enough, we'll get an insight that prevents us from bleeding out or something. If you stare, if you blink at your own injuries, they will suddenly heal up. If you look at your injuries and close your eyes, you'll not... The injuries won't be there anymore. <laughs> I see a few people here. Do that to intimidate him. Let them know you're loco. <laughs> what if I could kill all of them? One well placed. So we'll take out a few of them at least. I hope. Nope. No, not at all. But we burned you the thing. You ruined their. You ruined their party, though. <laughs> Just to make sure. Ooh. I love that. I love that punch dot wave. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Well, now run into him with that. <laughs> I'll kill him. This looks like a nice big building. There could be something in here. A uh, skeletor. So says. Geez, this game is gray. <laughs> Welcome. You are correct. It'd certainly be difficult to deny that it is not, in fact, gray. Now, I hope I can actually go in through that door. Yes, no, that did not look like a go in kind of door. I bet it is. Because it's loading a cell. I can tell the game is loading something when I get near that door. Like, it's loading the interior of it. Wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, maybe, maybe see if there's just something you can bash the door with. Because the game likes to do that. If not, then yeah, blow it up. I'm just going to blow it up. Sesame. All right. Yeah, I think we gotta deal with that, so I don't have to see in, in uh, wet vision while I'm trying to do all this stuff. What? Maybe you should have healed up a little bit. 
Yeah, you might be right. I take it for granted that we are on the verge of death constantly here. Well, that's as good as we're going to get. I like how you can see, like, the shirt and jacket start to rebuild itself. <laughs> All right. Overhand swings. Overhead swings, rather. Easier said than done. Harv is to be Maybe. a distance away from it. Maybe the axe isn't good enough. Yeah, I, I like my uh, my little buddy system I have here with this. All right, now I know there's other people in here with us. And I'll deal with them in time. Or maybe I'll deal with them right away. Yeah. Do the thing where you close your eyes and make their weak points. Yeah. You know, I found that targeting the weak points, really, you just shoot them anywhere. That kind of seems to be just as effective. Yeah, you know, I don't know, that second one died a lot faster. Boom goes the dynamite. See what's in that, uh, yeah. Booze, don't mind if I do. Oh, two for the price of one. You are, yep. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it didn't even burn it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what if you just drop it on the ground and walk away and shoot it? Instead of trying to do this I can't point because I don't know how, where I could shoot it from, what angle I could shoot it from besides like this. Why don't you try flaming bullets? Because I think they might still work on the smaller ones. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. No? Alright. Nah. I'm wrong. If only we had double sided tape. <laughs> You know what? Let's scour the rest of this place. See if maybe there's a bandage in here. Oh, glow sticks, just what we were looking for. What are these? Flares, maybe? Oh, there's your double sided tape. It's everything that we don't need in this place. You know, there's a rag to make a Molotov. Yeah, but then I'd have to drop... One of these things. Oh, we have a second ba- We don't need a second box of batteries. Let's use up one of those. Drop the rest. Use the rag. Make a Molotov. Combine. Wait, no. Combine. Okay. And now we see to use the lighter to burn yeah, this. That's, that's probably better than just trying to explode it like two feet from your face. What is the deal with this one that refuses to die? Any sprays in here? You can just make a flamethrower. That is going to be the next thing I try. Oh, you don't have flaming bullets anymore. No, I certainly don't. Oh, there you go. A 
Okay, there we go. All right. Was that double-sided tape or a bandage? That was double-sided tape. Fuck's sake. All we gotta do is burn that thing, and we can safely have another seven minutes. That's true. Checkpoint, save us now. I'm almost sad to see this one go. I mean, it put up such a good fight. Yeah. It, it's the toughest enemy we faced so far in the game. <laughs> Rip to a real one. Now, hopefully, there's a bandage here somewhere. If there is, we will find it. You know, even, even with all this that's happening right now, there's still something about this, something oddly compelling to me. Oh, there's another one. And I think we finally got it. Yes. Oh, the, the long national nightmare is over. <laughs> Then you take one more hit and you go back into bleeding. Uh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not replenishing, but at the very least, we, we can survive something for now. I think we have to we have to use up a lot of this right now. <laughs> I think that was everything. Triple checking. <laughs> you can never be too sure. You know that what? Medical spray. What? I'm just curious about something. They have this vent here. This leads to the room that the other thing was in. I wonder if you could have potentially busted this down somehow and then, like, I, put something I, I, through it or. I don't see how that would have helped because there was an open door next to the thing. Yeah, ultimately, it, it would have been. At least it matches up geographically here. Did we check this one? I think we did earlier, but... Uh, do, you, do you want more of those? Because those are handy for you. That's how you make your... Uh, I'm going to drop know, that blood pack. Yeah. Because we can't use it to heal or anything. So I will take some uh, malorts for the road. Okay. Fruitful trip. Uh... Your Game King asks, what is this place that we're in right now? Is this like a jail? Or Central Park? The world may never know. It, it's some sort of building, there, I can tell you that there, much. <laughs> there was what appeared to be a holding cell that that one thing was in. This, this might be, then. Maybe we look at it from the front. No, no oh, labeling of any kind. Yeah, it will remain a mystery. But you are close to another, uh... Uh, thingy. Well, we got all the ones near here. Well, no, we... there's another one near you. Near is a relative term. Down. Down. Yeah, that if we go to this, then cross the bridge, then we can take care of these three, potentially, too. So that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to spend the next... We already got all the story out of the way at the top of this episode. Yeah. We, so we can <laughs> screw around for the next uh, hour and a half, give or take. That'll compel the viewers. You have to do this stuff, by the way. To be clear, yes. if it's not now, it's later. It's, it's absolutely evil. mandatory to the progression of this game is getting all these things. It's Previously, not just optional. alone in the dark. And it's just like a scenes of like car and B just like kind of like picking up bottles. <laughs> Sizzle like, reel of him sorting through lockers being like, yeah, now which booze is the best for me? No, I'm not here to drink it. I'm just. What's that? That drink that's an Internet meme right now. Mar Marlo or lot. It's called You're asking the one from person. Chicago. Malort. Jameson's Malort. That's why I Malort. referenced earlier. That's always in style. It's always in fashion. Well, I feel like it's more so now. Like, it's definitely becoming a 
You're always having his ordinary sausage in an episode with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. I mean, there's also that other guy. The, the guy who makes drinks. Uh, how, like, how, to how, to drink. how to drink. Yeah. Nice people were for selling online. And, like, they put out a uh, official, like, eggnog drink of theirs or something recently. Anyway, the all roundabout way of asking, have you ever tried that stuff? Not as a yet. But I, I, I would be interested in trying that. You know, redeem your drink ups if you so choose. I, I'm certainly not opposed to, to foul liqueurs. I'm certainly not unfamiliar being a bottom shelf bitch, you know, for so many years. Probably lucky for me, I generally quit drinking before I ever had a chance to try it. I know I'm quitting smoking right now, but you know, one vice at a time in the words of, of James McCaffrey in Max B3. That one did not catch on fire, by the way. The one that's on the ground right now. I know. I can only juggle so many guys at once, though. I feel like he would be the easiest target. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Can't you see? Stay down. I think that'll do it. And I thank you for the uh, drink yep, up. Yeah, drink up. Wait, I learned my lesson. Hold up. I'm going to walk into the other room where there's a sink and open this Red Bull over the sink. Lessons learned. The static is here. What we're looking for should be around here somewhere. Maybe inside of this building, and then it has a basement. That is my guess. Still gotta open it up. Ah, I'll dig into the building. <laughs> it may take a while. Luckily, there's nothing urgent. There's nothing really pressing us for time right now. I just want to get it above my head. All right, I give has up. Anything, has anything besides the fire extinguisher ever worked? To, like, no. bash these things open? Not to my recollection. Not even fire axes, which, uh, one of the express purposes of fire axe, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, firefighters use them to, uh, to, you know, open doors. To debreach things that are, are potentially on fire or otherwise very uh, tough to open. It's almost like it's one of the express purposes of them or something, but no. God forbid those work. <laughs> Do you think firefighters are allowed to spec into, like, other weapons? <laughs> like a sword or a spear? Yeah, it's all about proficiency. There's different uh, classes and... You know, proficiency and skill trees as a firefighter. Cops could never. Oh, it's a rat! <sighs> I missed it, but... That, that's a rat, folks. I want to go in there. I want to go in that tiny little hole there. What they crawled into. But alas. Wait. Is this all just ooze at the bottom here? Oh, we're going to find out. Yeah, no, that's... You saw those flares you picked up? I do. It also makes me feel like there should right be there. something... Which is, I think, what they intended for you to do, but a flare seems like it would also do it. I do have three of these. I know it says to use these in case of emergency, and I I'm going to presume this is... that this constitutes as one. Yeah, this seems emergency-ish. I think that worked. Well. Yeah, it's not the... Uh... Yeah, you see? There we go. We created a spot for ourselves. Now he's got to hope that holds up for uh, a while. All right. Well, you need your flashlight now, I think. Too. Yeah. Whoa. Got a battery? Yeah, of course I am. It'd never be simple. Oof. 
fell liquid. Fresh like asking it's water or oil. Nah, it's uh evil. Yeah. Oh, cinematic camera for this one. Oh, I remember this one, I think. I think I know what this one is. Do you now? Maybe. I want to see if there's another gun here. Doesn't look oh, like it. Alright, glow sticks. A nice book we can tuck into. Oh, plenty of these. Now if there's two-sided tape, yep, I think I know what this one, what this one is. What does this button do? All right, I got this. You drop the two-sided tape, and next thing you know... Oh wait, you need to keep the two-sided tape now. It's the most essential item in the game now. We're gonna pick these bandages up again later. that uh, Charlotte in Wonder video, this is one of the parts he complained at length about. Like, in terms of, like, Mainly figuring it out, or just executing on it? Executing. Like, the physics are screwing up for him. Or, I think it was good the physics are screwing up for him. Wait, I just realized. We still need to drop this. We still need to have bandages or some other thing on us. Unless we can shoot the... Can we shoot the- oh no, there's rags here. Good. Alright, combine that. And now, get the lighter out. And that, and let's save it as a favorite while we're at it. In case I need to do all this shit again. In case I somehow don't get this on the first try. All right, I'm beginning to see what the problem that someone might have with this is. Okay, take two. I'm gonna get it when it's right there. Was that early or late? It's one of the two. I was on mute. I think that maybe you should try and throw it at the spot where it's going down into the thing, like, where you're not, like, um, sort of, like, where you're not trying to intercept it as it goes across from you. Like, right there, down the middle here? Like, either here or on the other side where it's going away from you. You see, also the physics thing, how it like swings off to the side is, I think, one of the problems. <laughs> yeah, I can see how this is a bit of a pain in the butt. I mean, mercifully, I think we have infinite attempts in terms of the infinite supplies, but... Or it looks like a finite number of bottles now. Do you believe in miracles? Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Folks. <laughs> I have a uh, recommendation yes! for y'all. Oh, you got it. Let's see if it goes through. See if it explodes at the correct time. Big boom! Big boom! <laughs> when the fuck are you supposed to throw it? <laughs> On the other side? As it goes away from you? Because then it would be on the opposite side, right? We only have 
So many of these left. <laughs> I'm fully aware Maybe of what I'm doing. Maybe if you like walk out Can the room see? or something, and then come back, it could. By the way, go ahead and pick up those bandages you had on the ground. I picked those up already. Okay. You already burned through those. Okay, right, don't throw it here. On the other side where it's going. Yeah, that's what I'm. Towards it. Yeah. Okay. Right. As I was saying, folks. Um. Don't get Chex Mix bars, cookies, and cream. Uh, as we saw in a previous episode, if you choke on them, they will make you choke, and it'll hurt. And just in general, now that I've been having these as my stream stack for about a month now, I'm fucking sick of them. When the hell are you supposed to do that? The problem is that it starts burning the second you use the lighter on it. You know what I mean? To ignite it. Oh. So you can see why you did not like this puzzle. I have another idea. <sighs> I wanted it to land on the thing, and then I would try to shoot it. No, like, nothing would have happened. I mean, okay, leave and then come and then back come in back. and have a drink while I'm at it. Forgot about oh, this. Oh, right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, you know what? I bet when you respawn, it'll be inside. Mm-hmm. Here we go. That's how you reset the puzzle. What's your inventory look like at the moment? Uh, you know, bit of a mess. Okay. I'll save that first aid spray as a special treat for myself later. If, if, okay. if, if and when we manage to clear this. Oh, we, we still need double-sided tape, don't we? Yes. And I think you're gonna need to drop something. The batteries. It's the only thing we can drop for right now. The only thing that isn't integral to solving this puzzle. Okay. It's great how they've introduced a uh, new item in, in your inventory to just take up space forever. You think that's a great thing? I think it's actually uh, downright dastardly of them. Oh, I got a new idea. New idea, new idea, new idea. Okay. Um, okay. You get one of these when it's coming like this way, and then you press the button to stop it. Oh, that's a good idea. Like, okay. how fast is your reaction to stopping it? Oh, we'll find out when we try it, I guess. Ah. Yeah. First, it's a matter of getting something stuck on there. But I'm, I'm liking the idea that you have here. Doesn't help that my aim is all uh, that my, my sight is is all uh, squiggly. Okay. Okay. All right. Then don't know how long it takes for Car and B to like that button. Hopefully, hopefully. There we go. Sharky, you are a scholar and a genius. Thank you. Oh, someone's congratulating us, maybe? Spectral Vision Tips 3. From this moment, whenever you close your eyes, you'll be able to see the alchemist symbols. Use your spectral vision to reveal them. We could use that way earlier when we were stuck on that puzzle. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Oh. All right. All right. And now with can all you that shine done. Your, wait, can you shine your uh, your lens at that thing? I, I don't like, think close that's your eyes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like, why, why the fuck else? 
Close your eyes. Make the thing come up. Oh, it's too far away. Well, yeah, if we had a better flashlight, mind. if we had the tack light, we could uh, maybe still be doing something. <laughs> Hello, Sculpture Advisor says, y'all still get tutorial messages? Well, no, we're unlocking, like, new abilities. Yeah, as we, in, in uh, fairness to the game. Do these things, yeah. Oh, uh, you're going to have your celebratory heal? I, I believe I will, for a job well done. Oh, we actually have a bit of medical spray on us already, so we'll use that up. How is it actually? We're actually in, in picture of perfect health outside of that uh, that one scrape we had. I wouldn't believe that medical spray is actually compressed air and he just likes how cold it feels on his skin. <laughs> Folks, don't do that at home. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, as someone who's tried that before, don't. As someone who hasn't tried it before but just knows that's a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna give you well, a heads up. We can't all right be now, scholars. We can't all be geniuses like you, Charky. <laughs> okay, so you're going to need a flare or a uh, glow stick coming up. You still have flares? Yeah. Yeah. Because when you get to the ladder, you're gonna need to drop one down so you can uh, get up. Oh no! Oh no, I got distracted by the dead rat and. It... I'll join you! Okay, it's, it's still, still blown up. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> What's your inventory look like? 30%. Okay, so heal up. Grab the other one. I don't know if there's anything else you want to pick up or drop while nah, you're Nah, this, this is, uh, this is it. It's the can't... Oh, there we go. Okay, bandages. Okay. Okay. So you might time. want to have your flare ready in the other hand. Oh no, that's not how it works. Oh wait, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I, I keep wait. my flashlight strapped to me, except... Oh, jeez. What if I, I just well, lit the flare and carried it with me? That's an idea. Alright, heal up your little bit and drop the thing and grab the... Yep, yep. We're getting well accustomed to this routine. Okay. All right, I'm in, when I'm interfacing with something. All right, yes, that's, this is probably a better idea than mine. All things considered, yes. It's not quite as effective as a flashlight is at like pushing the stuff. But, you know, I'll take the slow and steady. And then we can drop it at the foot of the ladder here. All right. Okay. All right, that is apparently one of the worst ones in the game, so we figured it out. If we can do that, we can do anything. I'm seeing comments in the chat about the, the even more cursed weavers, and I'm getting a few comments like that. Yeah, uh, across I saw YouTube, Twitter. On, yeah, yeah, I saw on Twitter someone replied to a nice stream announcement with like, "You got to play the Weaver." In time, they are two different games, and we've started this one, and by God, we're gonna finish it, even if it hemorrhages every last viewer. <laughs> Folks, you know, those of you stuck around, thank you for sticking around. <laughs> like, you know, we, we should talk about, like, you know, that format and, you know, what this in sort of entails, you know, that we're moving into more, like, long play stuff. And, you know, ultimately what that's going to lead to, like, you know, as a consequence of that, it is going to be, like, more of, like, these games that take multiple episodes to finish and, you know, the commitment to it. You, you always have drop-off, right? There's no way to avoid yeah. drop-off over a long-form series. We just have to accept that at a certain point. You know, but, but we also, still have the you know, theme we, nights we, on Saturdays and the CNC Stream Factory, so we have other means of, like, you know, yeah. getting that attention, of, of getting people's interest peaked, potentially. Yeah, I don't think CNC always has to be, like, a long play, because there's something I have planned for CNC that, if I wanted to do the whole thing, would be a long thing. I don't think I'm going to do the whole thing. <laughs> sure. So, I'm saying that we have options for people who yeah. are not inclined to watch full playthroughs of, of everything that comes down the pipeline. We're, we're trying to keep people in mind because not everyone wants to sit through a full long play of Alone in the Dark 
2008, for example. I don't know, I'm still enjoying it, though, which ultimately, at the end of the day, that, that trumps everything, right? It's like, as long as I'm still having fun with it, yeah, as long as you're still having fun with whatever game you're playing. <laughs> Good job, Carnby. Oh, no, no, wait. That. Something better than um, Tomb Raider. Yeah, that was a bit of a rough one, to say the least. So you see, I want to cross this bridge. This is the only way I could think to do it, because I did not feel like walking the length of this bridge. Oh boy. <laughs> see, aren't we glad I took the car? Oh yeah, this is... This is way better. I said to make sure to not drive off the sides as they run over these, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Uh, oh, 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 I... Yeah, I have nightmares like that. <laughs> Another happy landing. Oh, wait, new building. What treasures do they have in store for us here? Let's bring out our trusty map. And, uh, figure this out. Sock Puppet Kingdom says, TBH, I like the long plays. You remind me of something awful era Let's Plays. Funny you should mention that. Because that is absolutely one of the stated goals that, that me and Charke, I think, both had in mind yeah. for this. Is to bring back, like, 2000s SALP energy. You know, it's people who experienced it in some capacity. It, it's good to go back to. Minus the stuff that made the... it miserable. Oh, yes. boy! Well, so much for that ride. I guess we're not taking that taxi. An errant bullet uh, brought an end to that. <laughs> I was saying, specifically, the era in which, like, no one was really expected to put, like, a bunch of editing and a bunch of, like... I mean, great. Cass, you definitely put effort, a lot of effort, into, like our pre-show videos and our, like, all the stream setup and all that stuff. stuff. Sure. But in terms of the gameplay, you know, there was a time in the old Something Awful LP days where, like, it migrated away from, let's just play the game and talk, to we gotta have a bunch of editing and a bunch of, like, stuff prepared and we gotta... Graphics on screen, health, yeah. the, the level of our current character... And, and how much damage we do to this enemy in this section of the game. That's a bit much. I can just, you know, yeah. show don't tell, right? This, I, or, if, or, or, no, I'm sorry, I, what I should say is tell don't show in that case, because right. you can just verbally say those things in a lot of cases, you know? <laughs> but I think there's something to just, uh, you know, hey, let's just watch some people fucking riff on a game. Hey, is it always going to be blue blue to uh, turn the car on? No, because it only has yellow wires. Oh. Alright, now I can bring up the map again because I am directionally challenged. <laughs> and we will find our way. Yeah, let's go around the horn, like, you know, start here, go around, and go that way. You know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> Assuming it lets us. But yeah, you know, to, to speak more on that, like, sort of philosophy, yeah, I, I, you know, this should be fun, above all else, and I'm hoping that it's as fun to watch as it is for me to play a game like this, because I do enjoy playing these games. I'm enjoying this game, you know? And, uh, hopefully we get more excuses to stream more stuff we like in the future, even, you know, in under the, the, the scope of the bad games, the bad game Hall of Fame, because, you know, I, I do genuinely like these things, and I hope that comes across in some capacity. This is all my fancy way of saying that, hey, if you like the show, like, I know we, we joke about subscriptions and, and whatnot, but if you're someone who is, like, deep into the third episode of a Let's Play of 2008's <laughs> Alone in the Dark, I think you're our kind of sicko, right? You know? You're, you're, yeah. <laughs> you're our kind of people. So, you know, consider doing stuff like joining the Discord if you're not already in it. Consider telling a friend if you have like-minded friends who are looking for this kind of content out there, consider telling him about this, 
I need to get out of this car before it explodes, but it somehow put me in the back seat instead of uh, e exiting me out of the car. <laughs> Consider getting out of this car before it blows up. It's one of those guys. Having to do this every time to make sure I have fire bullets loaded up is... Wait, wait, thank you. Thank God it costs like so little to douse your bullets in the, uh, in whatever liquids you happen to have on hand. There we go. All right, is that, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're hitting. That's what we're, uh, setting fire to in a second. I don't know if one bottle is going to be enough to do it, but, uh, here goes nothing. Please work. No? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta count for several. I think we're at like 30 something. Let's let's see how much we have at the end of this. Yeah, I went from 36 to 41. So yeah, the bigger they are, the more points we get, as the old expression goes. You know, just put a, a, a cap of sorts on that, that whole train of thought and me making my my appeal to the, the good people out there. Uh, this streaming stuff has been really fun. Uh, it's been a good break from being, like... By the nature of writing those articles, right, that most people here came for initially, at a certain point, I imagine. Still at this point, we, you know, we're slowly building up the audience of people who are coming for the streams, but most people are just generous folk who have read the, the articles I've written for a while, and are now taking this opportunity to be like, well, if this is what Cass is doing, I'll support them in this. And I thank folk for that. I, I just want to be thankful to folk for that, because it's so... It, it was very isolating when I was knee-deep in the articles. It is it is fun to do something that is... It's not just, like, you know, more immediate that has, like, more of a... I, I get the the high of, like, playing these games and and being able to explain them, like, wh why they're interesting, right? And I, I can do it in real time, effectively. And so that's, like, you know, appealing in one, right? But, the, you know, the more appealing thing is that there is a sense of community. I have, I have Charky here, who is, has, has made these things, like... So, so much fun to do. It, it's, it's a good excuse to hang, then we go out and hang in the Discord after. It's been so much fun these past few months we've been doing this, so it, it'd be crazy to not continue doing this. And I will get back to writing at some point, I swear, I promise. Uh, it, it's, 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 it's so much work, and it is like, you know, I feel like I'm going into like a hole when I do that stuff. I'm, then I'm becoming like a hermit. And I crawl out every once in a while and I come out into the light to say, like, here's the latest scroll I've written. And then I go back into hiding for, you know, another month or two. But uh, it's been good. I feel like it's been good for me getting to do this stuff. And as we're rolling into a new year, I, I resolve to continue doing this. Which, which is quite an easy promise to make when it continues to be fun, you know, when it's, it's not that much, you know, it's not like a high stress prospect. Like, I don't know, quitting smoking has been, you know? <laughs> you switch one vice for another. Just smoking for streaming. Anyway, that that's as, as sappy as I'll get on here. That That's as uh, much as I'll get into that. That's as much as I'll bore all y'all fine folk with. So thank you again for, for, for watching and for tolerating, uh, you know, that shit. <laughs> We need an explosive. We need a, a bottle of something. Do you think one of these cars might have booze in it? No, hopefully not the one on fire. Can't get inside that one. This one, maybe. Just double-sided tape. Can I toss the anti-rust spray? Probably not. I think that's what we're using to light up our bullets anyway, so it probably behooves us to. 
Alright, if he's gonna leave us be, I'll leave him be. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a fair trade. I'm just scouring every corner right now. Can. Did he go from there, or are those two different guys? You know what, I think I have to come back here. I don't, I don't think I have the means to deal with that right now, unless this car here... Which, is this car actually on fire, or is it just, does it just happen to be near a fire? I think it's on fire. It would have blown up by now, wouldn't it have? The horn still Did the on-fire car do that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe it's not on fire. It's very toasty, though. Yeah, we're just gonna have to fucking come back here. We're gonna have to go to the next, uh... Go along this path, find something, and then come back. Um, some chat stuff. Uh, I don't even exist as that. Uh, I do miss the articles, not gonna lie, but the streams and Discord calls always have a very fun vibe. Look forward to whenever you write again, but don't burn yourself out. Thank you. Um, Magic Meows, to the point of uh, the old something awful long place. That, that uh, the, kind of what I was saying, the, the point where people started to try to be professionals when LP stopped being fun. Yeah, and... Which, I, yeah, I kind of... Go on. No, you, you first, because my point is more tangential. Okay. Well, yeah, kind of what I was saying with... Um, actually, I, I will continue their thoughts uh, here, because... Um, Video Game King saying that even back in the day, the standards there were kind of higher than your average YouTube Let's Play, because you were kind of expected to be like an expert in the game that you were doing. And uh, Magic Mail was followed up with like also a lot of things that were no nos, like reading text out loud, because you know, because we have eyes, we can see, even though personally I prefer it when people read text that's on the screen, because it helps me, because I'm not always like super focused on the text yeah no absolutely and my point uh, was just gonna be my, my yeah. tangent real quick was just gonna be like you know when when we lost lp as a term basically i say we like you know i was some instrumental force in it but you know what i mean like you know it, like you know when i mean if you're gonna point the blame at someone remember when pewdiepie started doing let's plays calling them let's plays and there was this this whole battle to bring it back to reclaim it to, to take pewdiepie down and and reclaim let's play for something awful and it was just like that was it was a we already lost by the time that happened the battle was already lost you know it's that that was the death of lp and because of like you know that that standard that was being set by youtube and you know the hyper edited you know that interpretation of what a let's play is they forever changed that and, and we forever lost it at that point there was also the sand castle which i think was a good idea that turned into something that it's a weird elitism did, about yeah yeah because like the idea of for people who weren't on something awful uh in the let's play sub forum um there was a thread called the sand castle where you could post um your work in progress for your first post for an lp to get people's like advice on like hey is this good does it need any work is or you know how is it format all that stuff but it sort of over time became this thing where if you made a thread without first posting in the sandcast people were like well why didn't you post this in the sandcastle you're supposed to post it there first and get everyone's approval for it yeah like no you don't you don't need to do that <laughs> this shit should just be fun it should be yeah. frivolous to some extent and i i i, I know we're doing we're elevating it in our own way which is to say that you know we're 
I, we're at least a little bit more critical and we're trying to bring like some level of, you know, like some level of information to it. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're still just having fun. We're goofing around playing yeah, goofy yeah. ass games. Oh, wait, I fucked up. Okay. I need to make a. Did you notice what I need to do here? Um. There's uh, guys climbing up. There, there's parasites climbing up and down a rope that we can't latch oh, onto. Oh, I yep. I get. I'm picking up what you're putting down. There we go. I don't even know if I need to set it on fire necessarily. I could probably just shoot them when they're up there. But in the event that I whiff it, I would like to have. Okay. Thank God, like that. That stuff auto sticks. Okay. I, I also do not want. Like we're we're talking about like you know we we just want to do like, like fun stuff. We just want to have fun with this. You know, like not do that much effort, which is kind of true. But I don't want to downplay how much work you put into this because when we did the Action Fifty Two stream, we decided that the day before. That we yeah. were gonna do that stream. It's like, well, I'm actually 52. And you're like, oh, all right, fine. The next day, I get a, like a message from you saying, hey, I have some notes I put together, you know, for the you stream for tonight. We can just read off of those. Friends. And it is an 8,000 word document. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I could have trimmed that a little better <laughs> in, in hindsight. <laughs> oh, thank you for the raid video, Witch. <laughs> thank you kindly. <laughs> We're just clearing out some objectives on this this little overworld here. Exploring the open world of Lone in the Dark, which we're enjoying. Pour one out for James McCaffrey, voice actor of Edward Carnby here. But uh, yeah, we're just yeah. taking care of some business and talking about some some uh, good old days, bad old days. And talking about, you know, what goes into these goofy ass streams, I, I suppose. Not to overplay how much work goes into them, because at the end of the day, I mean, I'm not like doing produced video. I feel like that is like, would probably be a, a logical thing to do, would be to do like, instead of posting just the stream, the VODs, to have some form of like, highlight or, or short and condensed version of these. Maybe Which in the I, new I year. Think would, I think it'd be, that'd be really good, but I think that if you were to do that, I think that'd be a really easy way for you to get burned out by adding like more, more work, because that is yeah. a lot of work. Like I, I've said before that like, that's a thing I think we need an editor for, but also I don't think we have the money. <laughs> to, yeah, I'm not like, as a yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, you know, uh, technically I'm an editor, but do, does it yeah. mean I want to edit? God, no, it doesn't. Hell no, it does not. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I picked up um, Vegas uh, yeah. Vegas this year in the Humble Bundle, and I want to learn how to edit video, but I don't know. I'll teach you. Yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah. Carnby? I, I feel like I have a lot more free time than you do, so. Carnby? Yeah. Carnby? <laughs> God damn it, Carnby. There we go. There you go. I promised I'd come back for this. Uh, we don't need to... Uh, maybe we do need to put a sticky on this. Or when I said I'd kill you last, I was telling the truth. I... Do you think... That is going to land on what we wanted to land on? Well... I have a bad feeling about this. Wait. No! Is that good enough? No. How is that not good enough? I thought it... I didn't realize it was going to bounce off the side. And that was the only one of those we had. Uh, put a pin in it. This is this part does stink on ice, making you have to. There, there has to be something around here, something we're missing. There has to be like a cachet of them. They wouldn't, at no other instance in the game, do they leave us just hanging as far as like 
Yeah, if you mess up, I mean, uh, we'll give you like a million more tries in the form of like infinitely respawning items, but not here. This is the one time they're gonna not do that. Maybe it's those infinitely respawning cars that are on fire. Wait a minute. Pick one up and throw it. That does give me a real stupid idea. Ramp it? Yeah. There was what looked like a ramp from one angle. Okay. While you're... Well, yes. However, what end? <laughs> if we die, we die. Uh, you know what? Yeah. That was not quite as impressive as I was okay. expecting or hoping for. Nope. Good news, we didn't die. Why is that there, though? And they have a slow motion trigger attached to it, too. What kind of speed do we need to hit? Let's find out. Wait, hold on. What? Another idea. Maybe there's more explosive bottles here. Hello? Anybody leave anything for us? Bottle of booze. Nah, no dice. I'm, I'm committed that. to figuring this out. As unwatchable as it may be, I'm committed to figuring I, this out. Now, I have a pretty strong feeling this will bear no fruit. Because again, how? <laughs> to what end <laughs> would this ever? Well, let me, let me try it's one more thing. Go. I have one other idea. All right, it's down there. Oh no! It oh, was a bad idea. No, are you for real? Yeah, I think that idea might have sucked. <laughs> I thought it would just respawn us there, and I'd have like the thing on me. Oh, I push you back at the natural checkpoint. Why don't you just jump in the water to reset your health? We, it, it did, it took care of these. It took care of that we'll and that. Get back, we'll get back to that one later. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that more open up as you play, so. I'm just gonna hoof it on foot all the way back to the other side of this, this natural bridge. I literally would just throw myself in the water to reset with <laughs> Like my health back from when all those guys were wailing on you. Whatever, it is what it is. That's like 5% of a health spray bottle, ultimately. What the heck is a Theophile? asked Johnny Baghead. That's who's a PDA we were so graciously gifted. I wish I could customize my. My profile here, in some capacity, it could just be like, this is Carnby's phone now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? Uh-oh. 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 Are, are uh, you okay? Computer haunted. Uh-oh, well, I still I, hear you. Yeah, still I mean, streaming. that's not the issue. That's not... The issue is nothing that's going to affect the stream, necessarily. I had Steam open, right? Yeah. I just wanted to... Move it from one window to the other. Alright, so I tried several things. I As moved you do, it over. Troubleshooting, sure. It started rendering the, the, the window at 8K resolution. To be clear, I have a 4K monitor. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just not put it into full screen thing, just shrink, or not, you know, maximize view, shrink it. You know, and then the moment I start trying to shrink it, it vanishes. It's gone. Steam ran away. So holding down the mouse. Yeah, but I'm still holding down the mouse button. I let go. Well, the thing is, I brought it back. I managed to bring the thing back, and now it's rendering at 16K resolution. 
have a 4K monitor. It was going across both monitors and I could still not even see like a quarter of the screen. I tried to resize it again just now and Steam has run away. It is gone. It has escaped away. both monitors. <laughs> yeah, Steam is literally gone. It is it has escaped the confines of all my monitors. You have the strangest computer issues, I, I've got to say. I'm quitting Steam. I'm relaunching it. No, it's gone. <laughs> it is... I can't switch the monitor. It's all... I've lost the... Well... Uh, looks like I can't do any CNC streams because, uh, I don't have Steam anymore. Where the fuck did it go? Folks, there, there are ways to bring something, Steam? like, to center the window or whatever. Look up, like, window shortcuts for, for moving a window around, because it's probably, like, off-screen in a space that doesn't exist right now, if I had to I, guess. I tried, I tried doing window shortcuts just to move it to the other monitor, and it doesn't work. I'm going to try this fruitlessly. As I said, fruitless. I don't even know if this is a real building. It's probably not. Yeah, it's... That's a fake. Okay. Let me try. No, alt tab doesn't work. We're just going to head towards the objective at this point. I wish you well figuring that out, but I'm going to try to... Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Alright. I brought it back by putting it full screen. Okay. I can get it maximized. I don't want it maximized. I can't. It is stuck and maximized. Can I platform off of this? <laughs> to climb up there. No, apparently not. Jesus Christ! Oh, God! <laughs> All I want to do is just climb over that ledge there. There has to be a way. I don't even care if I have to do right. it on foot at this point. Okay, I got it. I fixed it. You got it? Fixed Good. It. Yeah. <laughs> that, I don't know what... It, like, the window just, like, kept growing to the point where it was rendering at, like... Just... It was rendering at the size of, like, fake YouTube movie trailers. <laughs> <laughs> We got hurt a bit there. There's nothing a little first aid spray can fix. Yep. Little being the keyword. That's up. Sorry, I'm on my jog yeah. right now. I'm just gonna. How far away are we on foot from this? Oh boy. Let's hope we find a car get, between get, here and there. Get that cardio up. Johnny Baghead saying, this feels like a game that at one point in development could have had a like, tactile reloading mechanic. Like you could use stick motions to grab mags from your coat and slide in the gun. Oh man. I, that would be jank as shit the way that they would have surely implemented it, but I kind of would have You, you know what? This, this game feels like it was about mm, 13 or 14 years too early. Because this game would have definitely been a VR game. Yeah, no, absolutely. I feel like that's the, the trick that they're missing here. And, you know, something we haven't mentioned at this point is that they... With this game, uh, they they there's a squeakle to this alone in the dark. 
to this one specifically. This came out, was lambasted, and then years later, they came out with Alone in the Dark Illumination, I think. What, what's the name of the, the Left 4 Dead-like version of this, using the same assets, using the same version of Edward Carnby that looks exactly like right, this? I think you're right, but I'll double check. Alone in the... Because that is a yeah, thing that exists. Yeah, Alone in the Dark Illumination. Yeah, so that's a thing that exists, and uh, I have it. And it's still on Steam. Twenty dollars. Do those servers still exist? <laughs> Only one way to find out. On a fragment of a poem concerning the prophecy, men shall rest no more, for he's still there amongst them. The betrayer, waiting aside a lying gem, he built from anger and pieces built from his throne. One medallion to be carried by one alone. Uh, from several documents, it seems clear the stone is linked to Lucifer, the betrayer, in his fall from heaven. If that's the case, Edward is in danger. Are we finished? Oh, is this going to be a guide in the symbols? Don't you feel your spectral vision has evolved enough? I guess you spent enough time finding those roots. Now go to the old castle to test your new <laughs> senses on the riddle. Wait. So you um, basically skipped the part so where we... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Theo's notes say that Lucifer must be using the ground of Central Park to lock the access to the key. You will find some strange twisted roots scattered around the park. They are sucking the ground's energy and channeling it to an evil tree somewhere. These roots can be useful. Because you're somehow connected to Lucifer, you can absorb their power by burning them. Each will improve your sensitivity to Lucifer's presence. Find them and destroy as much as you can. This will give you enough you know, power a, to weaken the tree's that's protective a, shield. That's a really roundabout way to call me an asshole. If you want to call me an asshole, just call me an asshole. <laughs> Kind of go like, oh, you're somehow connected to Lucifer. But yeah, you skipped the part of the game that was like, hmm, I can't go any further until I burn these roots. Uh oh. Ah, uh, what's up, Doc? Ah, uh, let's uh, this in a lighter. Won't let me grab onto shit. It never has. It never will. <laughs> I just have to wait for it to is, get bored and then button mash my way out of it. That's the only thing that it, works here. It, or dying. Is, Whatever comes is first. It a, is it a hold or is it a button mash when you're when you go by those things? You know, I've tried it both ways and neither has worked, so. <laughs> This time I'm prepared. There we go. That's Opera Doc. I was rushing for the stream to get that sound clip. <laughs> I realized like 10 minutes before, I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> I wanted to do that joke. Well, I, I hope you're happy. I hope you're glad. I am. Because <laughs> I am too. <laughs> Open. Session. John, Johnny Baghead posted the lyrics to the Alone in the Dark OST. Ah. Ah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Question from the chat. Uh, Grinatag asks, what's everyone's favorite best frozen pizza brand? Um, depends on if I want a microwave one or an oven one. For an oven one, it's a Giorno stuffed crust. For a microwave one, it's a Red Baron personal pan. Uh, I currently live in a state where the idea of frozen pizza is, is offensive. Because you can just go down the street and find like seven or eight different pizza places. So, I have not had frozen pizza in a while barring pizza that I, I've ordered and then not been able to finish and then put the remaining slices in the freezer to put in the toaster later. I can't even remember what I what I used to get. Uh, there's like these like really thin crust ones I would put in the toaster. I think like Geno's it might be. Those are okay, I guess. There's a real good pizza place like ne near where I live. It's like not like a franchise like a Domino's or a Pizza Hut. Uh, but I can't afford to do that if I want pizza <laughs> any given time. Like, it's like, uh, 
25 bucks. Yeah. For a large, so. Yeah, I don't I don't take it for granted that not everyone is as fortunate to be near the good pizza as I am at this current juncture. Also, I don't want to be here where I currently am. Oh my god, I, I walked right into it. That this prank. shit sneaks up on you. These, 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 uh, the floor is lava rooms. I just, I never expect them. I always just round a corner and step right into it. She's, she's really tutorializing me on my spectral vision. I, I really don't need the help right now. I feel like Tony's at the worst. At least that I've had. I mean, that's like school lunch level of pizza. Not even the good school. But now that I say that, actually, in high school, we had, like, good pizza for our school lunches. Like, it actually had stuffed crust. But, like, elementary school. That was, sure. like, the... Flat Tony's cardboard with specks of pepperoni on it. Drop this here and hope that's enough too. I should. No, no. I ever go to Carnby? No, no. Carnby, hold on. I just want to drop it. I don't want to throw it, Carnby. Just. There we go. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> okay. I think it might need to be aligned. Like, actually. Easier said than done. So many flares. Uh, we might. Also, there's a thing here. I wonder if these are just, like, not necessarily what we need to look at, if it's just, like, guiding us to. Like, what if I climbed up here and went through this window? Oh, you know what? Yeah. Why do you have the lens? Yeah. Very good question. Also, it isn't letting me find this for some reason. Running start. Oh wait, no, there was there was like an angle. There was a second where it liked the idea of me look look up, maybe. Already down on the ground, what would you be shooting at? Yeah, no, I know. Wishful thinking. I have an idea. There we go. There you go. Uh, of, co of course, that makes sense. Not trying to do it like a fool like you were, standing on the ground, Gotta anchoring yourself start. so you could pull yourself up. And remember, Prince Curry to jump off. Print screen to let go of it. How are things going, Edward? Fine. It's a wonderful night for the end of the world. Listen, I've been reading Theo's notes. Yeah, I know you've been texting us every five minutes. Who reaches the end of the path of light will have to make a critical choice concerning the fate of humanity. It's not clear, but it seems that by choosing, this person will call the light bringer to Earth. And as we've discussed earlier, that might not be such a great idea. Will it save us or destroy us? This thing about which ending you get. This is crazy, Edward. Once again. All right. Once again, what? Uh, she said something. I think we were talking over it. You know, this is why it's uh, great to not have no. subtitles. Leave, leave players in suspense, really. No, she, she said, uh, this is crazy. And then he said, once again. And just cut. <laughs> huh. It sounded like 
there was supposed to be something that came after that. Once again, it, I, once again, this sounds crazy. I, I guess. Oh my God, lady, we get it. It's feel the power. You should be able to feel the symbols now. Feel this so rumbling vibration. Assuming you were playing this with a with a controller, perhaps. Yeah. When are they gonna make force feedback keyboards? So keyboard players can, can feel the joy rumble. of rumble. Yeah. We're up here. Haptic gaming mice. So you can play Call of Duty the way they intended on the PS5, where it's hard to actually click down on things. Yeah, that's the way. That's intentional. That, that's the way it should be. I'll tell you what. I turned that shit off so fast because, it, like, the feature. Like, one of the big features of the DualSense controller was, like, with this controller, we can make it hard to press the triggers. Like, no thanks. I, I almost like goofy gimmick ideas like that. I almost feel like I, I'm the kind of sicko who would get, like, a vest. There was, I remember like a vest they advertised as, like, if you get shot in the I, game, you'll feel the vibrations. I, and I like, had one of those, too. Uh, the Enforcer, I think, right? Oh, you, you actually got it. I didn't get it. I didn't but, know that it was. Oh, I had one. It's for the Genesis. How'd that treat you? I mean, it's just a, it's just like a base that you put on your chest. It's just so if you're playing a game that has a lot of bass music, it's just going boom, 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 boom on your chest. I mean, that's something. That's an idea. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I had the name right. Enforcer might actually be the name for the second gun. Uh, Justifier is the gun. Uh oh, it's okay. No, it wasn't in Enforcer the. Uh, Sega Vest. Sega Genesis Vest. The Interactor. The Aura Interactor. I might I had one of those. to look something up again, by the way, oh, because sure. I'm... I feel like I'm plumb out of ideas at this current juncture. Uh, okay, well... Uh, Let's see if I can figure please. out. We are episode seven, sequence four, the Eye of Central Park. Episode seven, sequence four. We're actually close to the end of the game. Yeah. All right. Uh, the Eye of Central Park. All right. This is a big wall of text. The castle. Once you have your spectral vision up to 30, return to the castle to progress the main story. At the castle, you need to find six lens light symbols. There are four outside and two inside. Uh... So I guess light all those up? I guess. It says you have to do something to get them. But I, I don't, I haven't seen anything we've done. Like, I would assume that's like the, what the lens thing is for. We haven't done anything that, are we missing some aspect of that system? Just keep trying. And we gotta be carrying this thing around for a reason. All right, can you focus, close your eyes. All right, now can you, f now open your eyes again. Can you focus the light or the lens or anything? Can you do things to change what you're doing within your hand? I think I've burnt it in there. By... Yeah, the only thing I can do is... Oh, wait. Were you up on the roof? Yeah. It says there was a telescope. And you can zoom on the moon. And that's oh. What you need to do. Okay. Well, we're out of batteries now. Luckily, we have still have spares on us. Okay, I for I forgot that the enemies in this game are called humans with a Z at the end. Is that? That's what they went with. Yeah. 
So I think every enemy is the thing that it is with a Z at the end, as is plural. Why is this room no longer deadly? Why is... I'll take it. Uh, hey, hey, don't question a good thing. Oh! Yeah, I have no I idea. Guess. Nope, th that wasn't anything. Oh, there it is. Nope. Now it's burnt into the wall. Okay, so we gotta do that for all of them. Presumably. And then, we again. En and then we end at the, uh, the whatchamacallit? The telescope at the time. Telescope. <laughs> Let's yeah, just I go ahead the... and take care of that, just to do it. So I had the interactor, which was that, basically, base speaker you put on your chest. And I had the activator, which was the ring of sensors you put on the ground. Oh, yeah. That you play games by waving your hand and breaking the beam. And they advertise it as play fighting games by actually doing the uh, motions. Your punches will be punched. Your kicks will be kicks. Like, no. Your movements will <laughs> barely translate. This is selling it to dumb kids like me who believe that's going to be the thing. Telescope, it says. Yeah, there ain't none up here. Yeah, when I was uh, looking around in circles like a dozen times over before, if there had been a telescope here, I would have seen it on one of the, the, the 20 attempts, the 20 rotations I made. I see the moon. Oh. Oh, no, no. Okay. Here's what you do. It's not on the roof. Okay. It's once you light up everything, once you get all six of them done, then you're going to do more stuff, there will be a cutscene and a thing will open up that will take you to a room with a telescope. Okay. So you're going to need to finish lighting up everything. Okay. So me, you have it. I mean, I think we've got four. Alright. I mean, I get what they're going for here. But that doesn't make this this part any less tedious to me right now, you know? This is why developers just usually put, like, waypoints on the map. They're just like, yeah, here's where they are. And, you know, like, that it, it takes the exploration out of things, but also... I'm not particularly en enchanted or in in by this, this whole segment here. <laughs> Wait, was that it right there? No, I got that one already. Or did you already get that one? Okay. Did you get the one on, that's on that painting already? I got the one yeah. behind the painting. Oh, there's one. I got the one in this room. Huh? Because once you get the sixth one, then you're going to want to go up to the room. You said there were four inside, two outside. Is that that's correct? That's what it says. Four, four outside, two inside. So you got the two inside. What does this plot say? Nothing, but that is a uh, definitely a developer face, right? That's gotta be, right? Yeah. <laughs> Signed off on the. Oh, there it is. There must be another one outside. Yeah, there we go. All right, there. Okay. Okay, okay. that's... So, uh... Okay, so inside... See if there's a uh, fire. One Things second. Inside. All right. Fire. Oh, wait. Got it. 
Fuckers. Well, see if... There should be a stairwell that is on fire somewhere. Apparently. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Too close to a wall while doing that. Anyway, let's drop that. Pick up that. Start healing me. We, we already had a. Through this, but whatever. We already had the cutscene that is just. I I think it will probably just work. I, they have to have accounted for doing this at least slightly out of sequence. It says, go inside and grab the extinguisher to put out the fire that consumes the stairwell. Go to the lit area up on the floor to travel to the... Ah, I assume that fire. So there should be a... Well, no, there's no stairwell there. Right? It's just a... No, I think it's... We, we climb up again. I'm hearing noises above us, too, so... Yeah, I think there are more humans... There. Alley -oop. Uh oh. Well, good thing Carmi doesn't take fall damage, I guess. <clears throat> okay, the, the main enemies in this game are humans with a Z, rats with a Z, and vampires with a Z. The rats are enemies? There are some rats as enemies. As enemies. We haven't run into any. I feel like any. you told me this in the first episode of this thing. I don't remember that at all. Alright, this is the stairs. This is the top of the stairs. I, I can, I can am now afraid again. that we have completely broken it. Wait, no, hold on. This has got to be something, right? Yeah, look at that. It's all six symbols. Yeah. It's, well, that's supposed to be lit, I think. But naturally. Uh, fall six done. Go and climb out window next to the black water pool. Climb up the rope and jump off the cable onto the balcony. Answer your phone. Get a cutscene. We already got that cutscene. The spike and explosive enemies. Throwing humans. Make a return. Kill them. Uh, go inside and grab the extinguisher to put out the fire that consumes the stairwell. Go up. Go to the lit up area on the floor to travel up to a small room with a telescope. So that's the thing. It's supposed to be lit somehow. Yeah. We got all six of them, right? Yeah, and it showed all six symbols. I don't know how clearly it comes across. I saw I saw them. Yeah. Shine your flashlight on it. Uh... Hmm... This is... Fascinating. I... I... It, there's no way we didn't break this. How can we... Broken... This... By doing it out of sequence. By doing it even slightly out of sequence. Yeah, there ain't no fire extinguisher here. There wasn't even a fire extinguisher over there for whatever, wherever the hell that's worth. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Okay, here we go. I, I found someone who had it. Cool. Huh? We, we were doing it wrong. Okay. It says, you need to activate each symbol around the castle with the torch and lens. The projected symbol must be the same size as the hidden run, so distance counts. The symbol will light up and you'll see a cutscene of its twin lighting up. How fucking specific does it need to be? Jesus Christ! That, that, that's what I was telling you earlier, where you have to like make it match like the actual size. 
But like, it wasn't it not enough that it burnt the symbol into the thing? Why have Apparently that not. state for it? Why have that if... <laughs> Why do it this way? <laughs> They, I mean, they assume that you would be like me, a brain genius, who goes like, oh, I have to match these things up exactly in terms of size. <sighs> oh, we have a message. Gee, I wonder from who. Sarah, no, you're joking. The symbols. Found, the, found these BuzzFeed articles. She, she's telling me about the symbol and the riddle and the, like, yeah, we're here. We're doing it. We, we've been doing it. I mean, I guess we haven't been doing it. I guess we've been doing it wrong. But we, we've been trying to do it, lady. Then it's the two inside, and we can proceed to something or other, presumably. I wonder if, I wonder if enemies are going to spawn, or if we already spawn them by doing, like, the incorrect bare minimum. Because when you look, when you revealed the last one, it spawned enemies in. that there's a painting in the way here. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that has worked. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> All right, now this is the tricky one, presumably. This one where we risk everything by getting too close to the, uh, the sludge. <laughs> no! It's unceremony. No! Okay, I bet it's I bet it's saved. I bet it's saved after you did that last one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it took you where you needed to go. <laughs> It didn't, it didn't give me any time to prepare for it, though. Please die. That, that, that was one of those mandatory deaths, like in a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> I'm trying to get to his back. Because I think what you have to do, what I, I think I figured out is that you need to light up all the lines, right? Like when you shoot them, it, it lights the line up. Oh, no. Well, these aren't lit up. Let me see if we need to do this still. I don't think so. Okay, no, I think mercifully we. <sighs> Why do I even bother trying to like play with the game like the way it's intended to? The, you engage with the mechanics. Why don't I just dump like the 30 bullets into this guy? And then stop caring so much about, you know, whether they're, like, hitting the mark, or... Jump out the window. So, yeah, I, I had a quick way to get up there would just be to let the black ooze kill you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so, but... And then, like, quick travel. Like, we learned from uh, Theophile that you can quick travel by killing yourself in this game, so... What if I can just drag you into the fire? I mean, that is a mechanic in this game. Except I can't drag that guy. Oh, okay. Because he's too big. Well, you might as well shoot him. Okay.
This has been a flummoxing episode. <laughs> it's at highs and lows. <laughs> hey, this is the end of chapter seven. Chapter eight is the last chapter. Now, the only problem is I don't know how long the last chapter Oh, we put the lens into the telescope. Maybe that means we finally freed up our inventory slots. Uh-oh. Pass. Yes. This is definitely going to be a uh, uh, next time in a little dark situation. But go ahead and keep playing. I can't exit out of this. Oh, there we go. I don't even know what... I was mashing keys and eventually it worked. See, there's a lot more roots now. Apparently, to progress, you need 70 spectral. Hold on. Huh. Huh. According to this guy, we need 70 spectral points to move on to the end of the game. Oh, Edward can take fall damage. Well, I know we're nearing the end of this episode, but I might as yeah. well knock out a couple as long as I see them. The pacing of this game is... something. The rate at which we've been clearing these objectives, clearing these chapters, what the chapters consist of... I know you're getting a black screen right now. I'm not. You're not? Okay, good. So the notification bug I was having the other day where the notifications popping up or blocking out the screen for you. This doesn't matter. Uh, if you can see it, that's all that matters. <laughs> Alright, so I can't circumnavigate these. At least want to knock out one or two more. Let's, let's go to the three hours and... Loaded some music. Yep. We found the violins. Let's go this way. I wish this game had diegetic music. Like, whenever the music kicks in, like, you round a corner and there's, like, parts of an orchestra <laughs> kind of sitting there playing. Let's see if these tiny ones... Can we shoot these? No. Now we know. That's health. I know. Okay. We didn't have much of it anyway. Yeah, all we have are explosive bottles right now. You are going to blow yourself up that close. You also did not have your gun ready. Yeah, we still have the that. lens on us too, so everything's coming up. Okay. I'm serious, back up. Oh, well, okay. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now we just need to fully stock ourselves up on uh, explosives again. Wherever those might be, lying in wings. Now, I could get rid of this lens and hold, like, more bandages, but I want a little souvenir. Remember, <laughs> remember this adventure it's crazy behind. night. Yeah. <laughs> You know what this uh, there should be on the map that you can find as like a, a player to like help you out would be just Cachets. like yeah just being like here here's a, like a wine store here here's a liquor store so an endless supply of bottles and and here is like a, a hospital that has just like as much bandages and first aid so yeah you you have to like go out of your way to like go back and forth you know people aren't gonna want to like you know go back and forth a bunch of times so that's not, that's not the point of them the point is if you're in the vicinity of them 
it'd be an excuse to stock up, you know what I mean? Art going by tape stall, get your double sided tape here. <laughs> That'd be like a hardware store. I'd put a hardware store there. Central Park? You know. <laughs> Right back, this is a very different game, but the code inventory management reminds me of the inventory backpack system in Zombie U. Do we use Killer App? It's looking to PC as just Zombie, minus the U. <laughs> I've been meaning to play that game again. I never had the Wii U version, I had the PS4 one. But I was like, I... In concept, I liked it, but I never played more than like a few minutes of it. You know, what people forget is that it is a remake of sorts. Yeah. Of a uh, DOS game called Zombie with a with just an eye, I believe. That Ubisoft had uh, published decades prior. Obviously in the DOS era being decades prior, you know what I mean? But, uh... That's, that's something that, uh, that also exists that's interesting. I think the game is I fairly innovative for its time, too. I thought about streaming it in my Discord off and on, but eh, just like when I originally thought I was going to play the game, never end up getting around to it. Jesus Christ. Alright, what cooking recipe did you find this time? Come on. Adventure what listicle? <laughs> she just keeps sending you listicles at this point. <laughs> Recipes that begin with like 12 paragraphs of backstory. The Philosopher's Stone was Lucifer's invention to seduce men. Oh, I didn't know he rolled that way. He nurtured the myth over centuries by influencing the most important alchemists, scientists, and artists. People needed to believe in it. The poor dreamt of fortune and the rich of eternal life. Many things were built and destroyed because of this myth, and giving the stone by giving the stone this magical aura, Lucifer was sure it would never be destroyed. It's one hell of an enemy we found here, the most ancient and the most furious of all. There's war coming. There's a way to counter the beast, a mystic yet concrete way. Those are contradictory terms. The Alchemist manuscripts speak of a path of light. It's a symbolic test that will lead the carrier of the stone, the light carrier, I think I mean light bringer, to prove his value. This person alone can accomplish the prophecy and face the beast. He alone, one man for all men, stands in a burning light. I only know one man who has the strength to fulfill this task. Is he, he is already carrying the stone, probably fighting it somewhere with all his soul. That's us! I'm scared and feeling down again. I'm still not making much progress. I can't find the connection between the path of light, the path of light, and the afterlife. The university feel cut like my I'm budget put in my, half. Feel like I'm gonna put my account on private for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, the stone is missing. Where the hell can Edward be? Ever since that incident in Prague, I have a bad feeling tightening in my guts. That's just constipation, dude. The alchemists agree on the fact that the stone has the power to keep a carrier alive. Yeah, we've, we've agreed on this. You know, based on the absolutely nothing, based on not having the stone and just, like, theorizing on it, we've, we've agreed that this is it keeps the carrier alive eternally. That's why I still have hope for Edward. On the other hand, I know what kind of suffering he must be enduring. The aura of the stone is a true plague. I don't know what Edward will look like if we meet again one day. I feel sad. He didn't deserve this. I should have made the sacrifice. Yeah, but then we wouldn't have much of a game playing as Theophile. You know, truth be told. Probably better it turned out this way. I realized that I actually wanted to map too. Going north. Yeah, I don't know if this game is really coalescing in this last part into something like cohesive or sensible. Like they're, they're giving all this stuff to us just in like these these text dumps, and they seem pretty important, you know, in terms of like contextualizing everything we've been doing. It would have been nice if maybe characters had been telling us this, or Edward had been like having like flashbacks or something. Well, I mean, they wrote themselves in the corner after Theophile, like uh, you know, fast traveled himself. Yeah, I suppose so. Also, I have a real bad feeling that they have the blood packs here. That we're gonna have to use them in the context of a puzzle. Or maybe I could just burn it. Maybe maybe that's just a. Yeah, I could just I could just do this, right? Go for it. Uh, ah, there we it. go. I want you to solve a puzzle. Ah, fuck. They tried to taunt me. They tried to tease me with that. 
49. I want one more slide. to go. Wee! <laughs> Jesus. Got some speed on that. <laughs> What's with the blood packs then? I didn't. Whatever, don't question it. Yeah. Hey, bandages. Hey, First you aid. want some blood? Here. As a treat. You know, we never did use the blood packs at any point, and I don't intend to now. Maybe you could set the blood on fire and have a blood grenade. Maybe I could set my blood on fire and give all the zombies hugs to kill them. I'm sorry, the humans. <laughs> humans. Humans. Uh, I know we're, we're coming up on time, but I'm going to try to knock out as many as I can in the next five or six minutes or so. So I don't know, the, like, the things I like about this game, I, I know everyone's priming me for the open world to be the worst part of it, and I feel like this is officially, like, if if this is the part, yes. like, we, we've been in the open world, or what felt like open world, but I guess this is really, like, the open world. Yeah, where it's like, hey, go off and do the thing now. Come but back like, when you're done. But, like, ultimately, this is almost, like, the best part of the game, if you ask me. And I'll have to explain that thought after I deal with these guys. Part where you're not engaging with, like, the more rigid structure of set pieces. Yeah, that's precisely it. Like, I get the set pieces were the big thing. I mean, what was the opening of this game, if not just, like, set piece after set piece, buildings exploding, Manhattan turning to rubble, like, all that stuff. Like, obviously, that was, like, visually impressive. That's, like, your sizzle reel. That's what you sell people on a game using, right? But... You know, then you're getting, like, packed into the museum and solving like, these very, like, static sort of puzzles. And, like, th those weren't the worst parts. They, they were fine. We, we got through them. But, you know, ultimately, like, navigating this world, surviving, like, scrounging for resources, it hits up some of the highs of, like, I don't want to compare it to Stalker. I mean, it's, it's not on that level, necessarily. You know, even Stalker, like, in its original version, isn't, like, a huge survival game. I'm thinking, like, modded Stalker, right? But, like, you know... And yes, there are ways they could have done it better. Like, we were suggesting the idea earlier of having, like, dedicated places where you're, like, more likely to find given resources, as opposed to just, like, scrounging through the trash and hoping that, like, nearby you're going to find, mean, like, the, the given item that helps you out of a situation. I was about to say, speaking of, there's a taxi cab up there if you need more health, but uh, you just picked up one. Yeah, we're good on that front for now, at the very least. I don't know. I feel like an open-world survival horror game is a thing you could theoretically do. It's an idea. Isn't that basically the Evil Within 2? I, I I haven't played Evil Within, so I wouldn't know about that offhand. Or, you know, it could be like a DayZ, right? What What is that game if not like open world survival horror? Emphasis on the survival, but with elements of horror. You know, I, I don't think this is a bad idea. I think it's executed. Maybe not the best, <laughs> you know, to be generous. I, I think the worst parts of this game, though, by far the worst parts of this game, have been have been puzzle related have been physics not cooperating i think it's been the physics puzzles that was the thing that they really committed to that they really should not have committed to those are the instances where we had the most trouble the most frustration and that's the stuff i would excise before i open excise this whole open world because there is like an appeal to like you know Central Park is is a world-known landmark, right? So having a digital version of it to, to run around in is it, something. It, it's a world worth exploring. Granted, you know, there, there is a tension to detail as far as, like, you know, we have these landmarks. Some of the spaces in between are pretty uh, sparse, sparse even. But, like, ultimately, like, I, I can appreciate the ambition. I appreciate what they were, the, the idea they had. I, I can see how, if they had had more time and money, they could have worked up some of the, these ideas. But ultimately, I think what this game needed to do was to, when faced with the prospect of a dwindling budget and time to, like, when this game needs to be done, I would have started cutting stuff like the physics. Scaling it down, realizing this isn't working. Realizing, like, you know, we, we tried to implement, like, a lot of, like, 
climbing and ropes and stuff and and in logic puzzles that are determinant on so and so but like that's the stuff that like that doesn't work for me the stuff that does work for me is just like having this world to explore limited resources combining those resources in novel ways I feel like a large part of why this game exists in the first place, though, is on those physics. Yeah, that was the like, showcase. It's commi that, yeah, that's what they were like. That, that's obviously like what they were selling this game on as being like a next-gen game that leverages physics in a way that you couldn't do this on PS2. And I guess they they didn't try to. I'm assuming this stuff does isn't present in the PS2 and Wii versions, or maybe it is. Who knows? Right? I guess. Well, I guess I'll find out one day. <laughs> you know, presumably. Uh, yeah. Let's read that. Like. Uh, most recent comment from video game king if you don't mind all right uh they say my frustrations have mainly been narrative the game's so forceful of its affects like look how exciting these set pieces are it has little to say beyond that i i, I don't know if i'm upset at the narrative i think it, it is very much like the fact we're getting everything in text logs i think it's definitely a, a complaint that i have I think that could have been handled more deftly. I think there could have been characters who spelled more of this stuff out. I think you'd have had in more interactions with characters in general. Like we have that that uh, that ambulance worker in our phone. But like, when's the last time we dealt with him? He, like, he should be the one giving us files, right? Telling us about our past. He's like, I did more research, Carnby, into 100 years ago when we think you were like last active. Man, do you know how late it is? I'm in bed. Jeez. Do you think I was going to be up all night texting you about lore and shit? Jeez, come on. So, like, yeah, there's obviously, like, narrative feelings, but I'm going to attribute that to, like, that is probably a consequence of stuff getting cut. That is probably the stuff they primarily cut was, like, you know, scenes, like, scripted ideas, like, where ideas for a scripted scene for characters who interact with each other and talk about the plot, and that's why we're getting so much lore dumped on us, right? Like, on some level, that is the reason for that, probably. But I don't know how you would remedy that with the, the prospect of your time and money running out. I don't know, like, how you would, like, find a, a better way than, I guess, this, these, these obscene text logs. I, I, I guess I can't workshop a budget-friendly solution to that. At least not on the spot. This will be the last one we, uh, set ablaze tonight. as we deal with this tough enemy. I'm just gonna shoot repeatedly and hope they fall over at some point so I can shoot the thing on their back. All right, roll over. No, that works. No, it doesn't matter. You just, I think when they're down, you just shoot them. Oh, there's bandages here, convenient. I think they're, they're giving you that thing back there, by the way. Or, no, okay. There is an explosive thing behind you. You can just drop down. Oh no, never mind. It, okay, no, nah, it's all thing. desaturated. I thought it was like a propane tank. All right, and that taken care of. Fifty-six out of a hundred. Possible to manually save your game? I don't even remember. Save. Yeah. go. Made it through another one, and surely the next episode is going to be the last one. Surely, yes. Between getting to the rest of the routes and whatnot, and then uh, whatever the last act of this looks like, uh, we'll find out soon enough, I reckon. Uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. Thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for watching the third episode. Thanks for commemorating James McCaffrey with us, I guess. He didn't have much to say in this episode. Kind of a sparse dialogue in this one. This one was a lot of the open world part, so yeah. But, you know, what can you do? You can't, we don't know. It's first time playing this. Two, two completions, so. Couldn't necessarily, like, predict or build it around. I mean, we, we, got, got, we got enough. We got, the first hour of it was. I think we got a fuck you out of them during this at one point. And what more can you ask for? Yeah. Uh, we'll be back. This week, I think, before even Saturday, I think we can get another day in or two, possibly. You want to do some CNC stuff in the coming days before Saturday? 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, so we'll, we'll set a day aside for that, and then uh, Saturday we have a, a holiday spectacular of sorts in mind. So something to look forward to on the Bad Game Hall of Fame, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pick it up from there. We'll figure out if we're doing anything during, you know, Christmas week or what have you. We might. I might I mean, not, I'm not yeah. have much to do. Uh, I don't think I mean, I'm, I'm working I'm, during that week. So. I'm, a, I'm available, so. So, well, there'll be, more, there'll be plenty of streams for those of you who don't necessarily care so much for the holidays or celebrate them so we'll, we'll keep we'll keep an eye out we'll keep our hearts open we'll keep the stream open for you make sure to join the discord to hang out with us on there uh thanks thank you again for watching i know we already did our sappy bit earlier in the stream where i thanked y'all so i'm gonna i'll spare you that at the end instead we'll just uh look for someone to raid at the end here shorps away is playing radiant tail oh that's something to watch Trips away as a friend, a friend of the show. Oh, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Date night, yeah. There you go. So tune in for some visual novel hijinks with them. Uh, that's it for the Bad Game Hall of Fame. That's it for me, Cass, and Charky. Uh, we'll be back. We'll ride again. Bye! Good night, everybody. <laughs>